Hello everyone. Gravely Crater Crochet and working on a poncho. And I just got the yarn tangled up, guys. That's really nice. I'm doing a mesh poncho. You guys always see me wear ponchos. And this one is like really I have to get it done like now. Because I'm wearing it tomorrow. So you're gonna see me try to move fast. And I'm kinda annoyed a little bit because I just got this yarn tangled up. Come on, don't do this to me. I can't take it right now. Come on. Okay, where am I now? Okay. I gotta find out where I am. Okay. Oh, okay, that's what was going on. It was tangled up in here. Okay. Let's try this again. Let me pull this way. Okay. And I'll pull this way. Okay. I'm still a little tangled. Let me wrap this around. Hello. Come on in. Hit the thumbs up. Hit it. Just hit it. Hello, honey. I'm making, I'm making a mess here. Okay. Yeah, one more time. Okay. There we go. Let me put this down a little bit. Let me scoot down a tad bit. So, I've started off with, guys, a chain of 80. I'm using a K-hook, okay? And I'm using a size 4 yarn. This size 4 yarn, guys, yeah, let me see. Make sure it's size 4 before I tell you that, yes. The size 4 yarn, okay? And it is Mandela Ombre. And it's by Lion Brand. Y'all know I love Lion Brand, so I had to work with them tonight on this awesome poncho. So tomorrow I'm wearing this poncho, guys. I've done the chain of 80 already, working with the size K. Now, of course, I'm using my clover. And I always tell you guys I love clover. But the only thing I feel about with clover is that it just seems like their hooks are a little bit smaller, smaller than normal, a normal size hook to me. But I'm still going to use it because I don't. My other, I think my other K hook is down in the basement in my other little <coughs> workstation and I didn't want to go get it. So I was like, I'm just going to use what I have. But I just got to remember to crochet really loose. That's what I have to remember when it comes to this clover hook. So after I've chained my 80, I'm going to join with a slip stitch. That's for anybody who wants to make this poncho, okay? A lot of people have been like, oh, I want to make this poncho. I want a tutorial for it. So here we go. Okay? So you're going to use your K-hook. You're going to get your size 4 yarn. And you're going to chain a chain of 80. Hey, Sandy, how are you? How you doing tonight? I'm just making up this mesh poncho. A couple people wanted to know. How I was doing it, and I know. Oh, you're hearing a hum? Is it not all in? Oh, okay. Let me take it out. Let me take it out, because I don't know why it does that. I guess it has a mind of its own. It wants to act up sometimes. Sometimes it wants to act right. What else? And I did a video, a couple videos with it today, and it, and it was doing good, so. But I'll take it out. I'm glad you're doing great. Super happy to hear that. Yes, I'm working on this mesh poncho. It has to be done tomorrow. I got to go to church tomorrow. My hubby's wearing blue. And he tried to find something blue for me to wear to match his outfit. And he couldn't find anything. So he was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to get you. Like, do you just want to buy this yarn? And then you can make something. And I was like, okay, sounds good. So I'm making this mesh poncho. I've chained my 80 already. I got my K hook. I got my worsted weight yarn. And I've chained 80, and now I, I slip stitched, and I've chained one, and now I'm single crocheting all around this ring. So I probably shouldn't have mentioned it, but I don't want to miss a word. Oh, no, you're fine. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I was just wanting not to have to yell because I've been trying to preserve my voice a little bit because I have to sing tomorrow at church. And it seems like every time I get on these lives, I yell because I'm super excited to talk to everybody. And... um. 
I'm like, I don't want to get to church tomorrow and we need to sing. And I'm like, I can't get a word out. <laughs> so I'm trying to preserve my voice a little bit, but I'm going to probably invest into like one of those tabletop mics. So I think that'll be really good if I can get one of those. Yeah. So what are you up to? Are you working on anything? Are you working on that beautiful blanket? So oh, I'm certain you sing beautiful. <laughs> I try, but I'm not the I'm not a lead singer. I'm good at the background. I can sing some of the little upbeat type of songs, but when it comes to like the ballads and slow stuff, no, no. <laughs> hey, Granny, how are you? Hey, Granny said, hey, babe. Uh, hello. He said, love what you're wearing. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, yes, yes, this is a super easy poncho. So I'm almost done with the third cake. Oh my goodness, are you? And, I, and then I went to Walmart today, guys. Oh, a Walmart trip was just like everybody else's Walmart trip. Nothing too different. I ended up getting, where's my stuff that I got? I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. I was gonna do a video on it, but I was like, you know, I'll just show my family what I got online. Okay, let me show you. I didn't really get much of anything, guys. I didn't get too much, but I just got a little something to play with a little bit. Um, I'm working on an order. Oh, you said, okay, question. Let me see, so the spiral blanket. Should I wash it and then block it first? Wash it and wash it and then block, or block it first? Hmm. Now that's a good question. That is a good question. What do you think, Granny? I'm trying to think because what have I done? I have blocked things before. I blocked. It was like I made a top for my pastor. I blocked it first, and then I washed it. I don't know if that was a proper way to do it though. But it, it did fit really well, though. I, after I finished it up, I just blocked it and everything. Um, and then I washed it. And it stayed in that, you know, it stayed the right size and everything. Um, but I don't know. Are you doing? Are you giving that as a gift or is it an order? Or I can't remember exactly what you're doing it for. But I think, um, but if you're, it depends on, like, what you're doing the blocking for, though. If you're trying to do it to keep it flat or if you're just doing it to kind of get it to a certain size. Because I know you're doing like a circle around shape. So if you're blocking it to get it stretched perfectly and to keep it flat, you might want to probably wash, it, wash it first or something, then block it so that way it can stay in that round flatness, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you probably want to probably wash it first and then block it so that way it'll, it'll stay flat so it doesn't cur curl up on you. Because after you wash it again, it's going to curl back up. Hey, Lane, thank you for hanging out. Yes, Elaine says, hey, babe. Hello, Elaine. How are you? How's Mr. Wright doing, Sandy? Also, Sandy said, hello, babe. Well, hello, Sandy. So, yes, I, I got some of this. Um, I'm sorry, guys, we can see it. Some of that peaches and cream, guys. He said, I'm not the one that has can never block. Yeah, I. you know what? I'm going to be honest. The blocking always exists. Maybe it did. But I don't have a lot of books that says that say blocking. Um, even if I kind of go back, like, then I go back, I have some books, some of my older books, they say block and they mention it, but it seems like within the last, maybe, I don't, I don't know how many years, um, it's been, I've been seeing a lot of people talk about blocking and, you know, mentioning it a lot, but I don't feel like I've, I've seen it all the time. Okay. I don't feel see. like everything needs to be blocked, like, right? No, I'm just like, <laughs> you having a drone in your over here? No, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Yeah. Is the Hobby Lobby supposed to open? Oh, really? Oh, that's going to be fun. Hobby Lobby's opening? It's, it's already open here. Oh, it's already open here? Mm-hmm. Hobby Lobby. Oh. And, uh, Mark did one here the other day, and the line was down the street. Wow. I didn't even know. My Hobby Lobby's open, too, and I guess one of my friends... She already went, and she said the line was just... Where? How long was it? She showed, like, a video or anything? Yeah, it was really, really great. Wow, yeah. And then she ended up she ended up going to Michael. I mean, what's right here in Ireland? Joanne? She went to Joanne. She went to Joanne and said, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that makes sense. I think I'll yeah, watch it first. Yeah, I think that's what will be good. I want to go to Hobby Lobby, too. I miss Hobby Lobby. I can't wait to see. So I got four of these guys. Oh, I'm, we're just talking about a blanket. Sandy's making a blanket, and it's a circle blanket. And she was asking, she wants to block it. I don't know if you do any blocking where you basically even steam it. You can, you know, spray it wet, however you want to do it. 
there's different blocking techniques with different types of yarn. And you basically, you can block it to kind of pin it down to get it to the right size to kind of stretch it out. Um, if Like Miss Sandy, she's doing a circle blanket or afghan, let me say it right. Um, so she wants to kind of keep it flat. She doesn't want to curl up all around. So what she's going to do is she's going to uh, wash it first. Then she's going to block it so it can stay flat. Yeah, she said, that's why I'm waiting until Monday. Oh, yeah, that's that's good. Because, you know, everybody wants to go in today. Like, I know it was probably packed today. And then tomorrow, there's they're not open. And so, yeah, Monday. Are you going to go early Monday? How, what do you think, Sandy? Are you going to try to go early, midday? Like, what are you going to do? Because that's going to be, that's another thing. Like, you have to pick out what time you're going to go in, you know. Because some people, it's like, oh, everybody wants to go early because they think it's going to be, you know. But it might not be many people going in early. I don't know. It's hard. To, it's really hard to know if it's close by. Hey, Shanita, how you doing? Thank you for coming in. How are you tonight? So I got these. I got four of these because I have to do a, a summer set. It's going to be yellow, white, and gray. So I got the white already, and now I got yellow, but I have to go to another store to get the gray. And I know a lot of people do not like to use this um, for the summer sets because a lot of it, it can be kind of more kitcheny, but it does wash and soften really well. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm making this set up with this and um, I'm using, a, I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use a gray and a white, but I gotta go to another store to get the gray. So that's another thing I gotta do and I have to get it done. Like I have more, one more week. It's a week, one more week deadline. And then I'm doing, I have, I bought two of these guys. This is the center, centaur or something like that. Let's see if I can focus it. I might not get focusing it at all guys, let me see. But yeah. I got this yarn because Annie's Attic, I don't know if you guys seen it, but Annie's Attic has this really, really nice um, little wrap thing. I wish I, I might have my husband pull it up. It's a really, really nice wrap or like a cardigan, and it is super gorgeous. And I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I was like, I'm just going to grab a couple for now, and then I'll go back and grab a couple later because I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I'm telling you guys, it's beautiful. It's a really nice cardigan. It doesn't it doesn't seem really hard. It seems like there's some granny stitching or something in there. So I got that. What else did I get? I got a couple tank tops to go up underneath. I'm trying to figure out what color. I guess either color would be good. Hey, how you doing, Kat? Thank you for coming in. Okay, you said it depends on when Mr. Wright is home. Okay. Yep. We only have one car too. Same exact thing. Yeah. So when he gets home or however, you know, when he's ready. So I'm gonna be. I'm trying to figure out what do you what do y'all think? Should I wear like the navy blue tank top underneath? I hope you guys can see it. Hope you guys can see that. Okay. Or should I do the gray? Okay. And I'm trying to figure out. I don't know which one I should do. I kind of like the gray. The gray seems like it's really doing good, but I don't know. I'm probably gonna wear. I wish I had my jeans down here. I could show you what jeans I'm gonna wear with it. I'm not sure which one I should wear underneath. I don't know. I got to figure that one out. But yeah, I got a couple tanks to go underneath to figure out which ones I'm going to get. Oh, and then hubby got me some earrings to go with them. So I got some blue earrings, guys. So I'm going to be I'm going to be a little special tomorrow. <laughs> I'm excited. So I got to I have to work, guys. And then I got some coffee. Hubby made it brew. Well, actually, when my son brewed up some coffee. We're coffee drinkers. Yes. Cat said, hey, babe. Hey, how are you, Cat? So, Cat, how were the kids tonight? How was everything? Everything went pretty well? So you said you had a pretty good um, day today. That's good. I did, too. It was really sunny here, y'all. And then it seemed like it was super sunny. It was great out. Me and my husband decided to go outside on the porch and, you know, get a little air. And then it started to just break down. Started getting dark. It looked like it was going to rain because he was going to barbecue. He was like, I'm going to barbecue. And then as soon as we get out there to sit down and enjoy ourselves, it gets super dark. The wind picks up. Um, it starts to sprinkle a little bit. And it just gets super chilly. We're like, okay, it's time to go in. I was like, wow. The first day, we actually kind of have a little bit of time to hang out. Here comes the weather. But hopefully tomorrow will be better because he wants to go. Um, he wants to barbecue tomorrow. So that'll be good if we can do that. Here you go, huh? So, yeah, this is my, like, 24-hour project that I have to get done. He said, me, Dana, love my caramel coffee. Ooh, do you? Yes. I would love to try some of that. Some caramel coffee? Um, What's the brand of that, cat? 
I love coffee, so I love to try different types. I just really kind of got him into drinking hazelnut or hazelnut creamers. Like anything hazelnut, he would never drink. I, I've always liked hazelnut. And he was like, I don't like it. And now he's like, oh, I love hazelnut. Every time there's a hazelnut creamer on sale or coffee, he always grabs it. Thank you so much, Angela. Hello, welcome in. Thank you for coming to hit that thumbs up. You are all so sweet. Okay, thanks, Kat. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so yes, it was great today. Sunny, warm, windows open. Yeah, yes, that's the same here. I actually had to have my ear on for a minute, y'all, because the air was, you said Joe made your score. Oh, thank you so much. You said, glad to see you. Okay, I'm reading everybody, making sure I'm caught all up. Yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to, got to get this done. This has to be done, guys, so. As soon as I get done with this part, I'm going to probably whip through it. But I just got to get through this part first. Make sure I'm not twisting my chain. So how are you doing, Angela? What do you got going on over there? Are you making up something or you just hanging out, relaxing? This is kind of like my little time to work. And I'm trying to make sure I don't twist my chain, guys, because I do that all the time. Okay, I'm, yeah, I think I got it. I have to get, I've been getting better at not twisting it. You said I can't, I can handle the warm weather, but not, but cannot tolerate the humidity. Oh, yes. I know how you feel. I cannot do the humidity either. The humidity, we were just talking about that last night. I was like, no, <laughs> that humidity is not my friend. I was just talking about, I said, you know what? Last year I stayed in the water. I stayed in the kiddie pools. We stayed playing with water. What were we doing? Water balloon fights. All summer long because I cannot do that heat. I gotta make sure I'm not missing a stitch, guys. Let me see. You say you're relaxing. Oh, that's good. That is good. Let me see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 6, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 6, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 62, 64, 66. 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 79. Okay, yeah, I thought I was missing one. I was like, I think I'm missing a stitch here. Okay, let me find this last one. Oh, he was done? Oh, he got off the game? Yeah. I must not be working too good on it. Probably not, but hey. <laughs> you said, I stopped to say hi. Oh, okay, you said both Walmart brand oh, okay 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 let me see what am i making i'm making a poncho i'm making a mesh poncho i'm making a mesh poncho that i have to wear tomorrow so i have to get it done i have to whip it up now and without getting i'm still getting the yarn tangled up can you roll this up for me for one second i can so i can feed it back through here yes, can. thank you honey okay you said the um the coffee is great value walmart brand Caramel cream, and we have toasted. Oh, that sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Both Walmart brand K cups. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. And I used to get the K cups all the time. Now I get the mini filter. Kat, do you have one of those mini filters? Instead of, if you, I mean, it just really depends on, because um, we were going through coffee a lot, and so the K cups started getting a little bit pricier. Yeah. Just roll it up as much as possible. I did. I rolled it up. Roll it up as much as possible. Pull, pull that part through. I just didn't want to pull it. Yeah, roll it. I want to put the whole ball through. That's so why I want you to kind of uh -huh. get it rolled up and I can throw the ball through which way it needs to go. Okay. Let me see. It needs to come through here. Okay. I'm trying to read and do this. Thank you, honey. I think this might be it. Okay. Yeah, I told her I would do this for her, but she doesn't trust me. Yeah, he said he was gonna make the poncho, but I don't think I was gonna do it, but she didn't trust I'm getting me. all the way kind of, Okay, Gail, you stopping to say hi. Oh, thank you so much, Gail. I know it's late. Um, and every you know, it's a lot of people going live and stuff, so it's kinda of hard to, you know. And then today was like a really crazy day. I tried to get a couple of videos done too. He said, you know what, Dana? You are always making me feel like we've been friends. I know you do too. You do too. That's why I just I love our relationship and our friendship. You know, I love it. You say you make my oh, you make my life feel terrific too. And the first time I ever went to Sandy's live, she was just like showing me love. The first day I ever went in there, I was like, hey, I loved it. I felt I was like, yeah, oh yeah. So she really is awesome. Oh, thank you so much, Kat. You're so sweet. I love y'all. I really do. I don't. I don't say love y'all. I don't throw the love around. Just you know, in a fake way. It's all real. It's all true love. How you doing, Miss Southern Bill? How you feeling? You say I have to turn volume down, but I'm on. Oh, mwah, mwah. give you some rest. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for all your support. Oh, the kind of yarn. Let me show you, Angela. 
Hold on, if I can find it, because I got two skeins, and one has the um, label on it. Can you use the restroom real quick? Okay, I gotta find my yarn. Where's my yarn at? Okay, sorry guys, I'm trying to find it. Everybody's going, so I can't get any help to get, find it right now. Which would you like, man? I'm trying to find right the yarn I'm using. Right there. Where? They're right there, the one right beside you. Okay. Here it goes, guys. I'm sorry. It is Mandela Ombre. So, you know, Mandela has a regular uh, Mandela. This is actually Mandela in the color Troll, believe it or not. Um, but this is the Ombre, and the Ombre is kind of squishier. The texture is a lot different. Let me see if there's a different... Um, let me see if the, the specs are different. It just says 100% acrylic, too. But it feels kind of squishier. I'm sorry I'm behind in your comments, guys. Forgive me. Okay. Hey, Mimi, how are you doing, Laura? You said, hey, Dan and Joe, hope you guys are doing, oh my goodness, I'm doing great. It was great to see you. I missed your live. I didn't realize your live, you went, you did your live, it was 8 in the morning where I was at. And I think I just went to sleep at 6 a.m., so I didn't get to see your live, but I did catch the replay. It was really, really fun. And I did catch your um, your latest video, your Happy Mail video, and I didn't finish watching it yet, so I just kind of got it on pause in that certain spot so I can finish it. Oh, you're playing it. Thank you so much, Miss Southern Bell. I appreciate it. You know I do. He said, did you say tomorrow we're going to whip up a... Yeah. Yes, I'm going to be wearing this poncho tomorrow. So I have to get it done now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How you doing, Miss Tina? How are you? Oh, you say you love ombre yards. I do, too. And I like this one because it kind of gives me like this little blue jean feel. It looks like blue jean to me. I don't know why, but I love it, though. Yes. He said, I finally fell asleep at 5. <gasps> Did you, cat? Oh, my God. I fell asleep at 6 a.m. I was like, and I didn't want to go to sleep then, y'all. I didn't. I just felt, like, super energized still. And I was like, we had choir practice. Um, my husband, like, we had a couple people in our choir. Or it's not really a choir. It's a praise team because it's a smaller choir. And so they they had different work schedules. So my husband kind of changed the time for them. Um, so that way we could be able to, you know, have a good practice. And it was so hard to wake up because I hadn't been I hadn't woke up at eleven o'clock on a Saturday morning in so long. <laughs> it felt so crazy. He said, I went to sleep at one, have no clue, and woke up around twelve thirty this afternoon. Did you? Wow. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing good, Miss Tina. Yes. I'm trying to get this poncho done, guys. I have to get it done like now. So I'm working on it as we speak. Because I gotta wear it tomorrow. And I'm using a K hook, but I have to crochet really loose because I'm doing a clover hook, you guys. And I don't know if you guys have the same feelings like I do when it comes to clover. I'm trying to get it a little closer to me where you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit. But if, you, if you're like me when it comes to clover, I feel like clover hooks have a little bit, they're a little bit smaller than the average hook to me. So I'm going to crochet really loose. Um, this pattern really calls for you to crochet loose anyway. So all you're going to do is just chain your 80 your slip stitch in to make a form a ring and then you're going to um, join it and then you're going to single crochet in that ring and then after that you're just going to um, begin a mesh stitch oh you love I love my clover hooks too I love them too but in comparison sometimes depending on what I'm working on I definitely have to check my gauge because it will be off because for me it seems like I'm telling you like this K hook this is a K-hook. I feel like this K-hook is a lot smaller than my average K's. And I don't have any of my other K's with me right now because they're downstairs. But I just feel like it's a little smaller. So I got to make sure I do crochet a little looser when I'm using them. Especially for this poncho because this poncho calls for me to crochet really loose. Yes. Is that so? Um, do you have any furrows hooks, Sandy? We were talking about it one night. We were all talking about furrows hooks. And um, there were some people who have them and some who don't. And um, we we're talking about some of the people that I know have furrows hooks that have broken, um, which is good. Well, you know, it's good that furrows um, has a great system where they will replace them for you. But I think the most expensive hooks I do, I own one furrows hook. I do own one furrows hook. Um, it was a gift from one of my friends for Mother's Day. Um, but I don't have many of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't have many of the furrows hooks, though. I just have that one. It's a wooden one, too. Because I love clovers and so excited that Leather now uses clover. Oh, and making their hooks. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. 
Yes, I love Clover too. I think that's like the, I like the way, and I, as there's a few friends that I know, they have tulip hooks. I don't know if you guys heard of tulip, but they said tulip hooks are even better than Clover. And I I'm not, I, need, I know the price is up there a little more. He said, Dana, I love all of your ponchos. I mean, you got a poncho for every outfit? Thank you so much, Miss Tina. I appreciate it. Oh, okay, let me see. I'm sorry. I'm missing. I'm missing them. Aren't I? He said, Miss Sandy says, I have, I've never had a furrows. I've never even seen one in person. Oh, really? Yeah. I've had, I have one. I have a wooden one. I think the wooden ones are less expensive. Um, cause some people say there's gold and silver and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, those are a little bit higher on the upper edge line, <laughs> but yeah, I, you have one thing about the furrows hooks. If you're used to that, you know, the flat surface, I wish I had mine with me. Oh my goodness. My son cleans up guys. And I never find anything. All my stuff is in his, he has his own order for everything. So it's crazy. But the thing about furrow hooks is that they're round. So, you know, there's not a, really a thumb rest for you. And I'm used to having that thumb rest. I like my, I like a spot for my thumb to rest, but it's just completely round. And so you kind of got to get used to holding on to that. But I'm not, I don't really have a problem with it. Mine is, hasn't broke. I have an H hook. Mine hasn't broke, but I know some people say they, they're easy to break um, if they hit the floor. Like, you know, hey, I have a hard floor. Not just concrete, but if you have a hard, like a, you know, floor, it'll break. Or you say, I have a froze hook, and I don't like working with it. Really? Wow, Lori. So you don't even, it's like, what didn't you like about it? You said, I was gifted a set of ergonomic hooks. And I, oh, yeah. I love them, cat. I love ergonomic hooks. Yes. You probably have, the, I probably have the same set that you have when it comes to the ergonomic, ergonomic set. Because I got my clovers. Like I said, I love my clovers. Um, a more, but do you have, do you have Clover more or do you have Clover soft touch? Cause I have a couple friends who like the soft touch. I've never tried them though. Um, but I have them more. I like them a lot. And I have a set from Amazon. That's the, um, ergonomic and they're, I, they, them and the, uh, uh, Clover are my favorite. Absolutely. So I'd rather spend more money on premium yarn. Thank you so much, Sandy. I agree with you. Yes. I never tried it. For a hope nor, oh really? Yeah, I think you would like the the clover. The clover is not as expensive as the furrow. You can actually get a set of clover uh, more hooks for like twenty eight dollars. You know, don't spend no over thirty dollars for a set, but um, they're really they are worth it. It's a really good set. Um, but like you said, Sandy, I would rather like you said I would rather buy like a really good hand dyed yarn, some some nice um, you know, it could be a silk yarn, it could be any type of yarn, you know, some type of merino wool. But compared to just buying like a $60 hook when that could have been like tons of yarn or all kinds of accessories or all kinds of goodies, I can, I feel you. That's the same way I feel like with purses, but I don't know how you guys feel about purses. So, but I, I let me tell you that. Hold on one second. Let me read your comments. I'm sorry. Um, yes, you love them more. Yes, I have them more too. Yes. Oh, you said you have the old set of, of, of clovers. Really? And the ergonomics are soft sponge handles. Oh, I wanted the same thing to have soft sponge handles. Is it kind of like, I don't know, I, I wish I can get mine. Because I, I want to show you what kind of I have. Let me yell at my son and bring him down. Okay, let me see. You said, I've never tried either hooks. Really? Yeah, I think you would like the clover. I definitely think so. Um, but I'm like Sandy. But I'm the same way with purses. But I'm not knocking anybody for your purses, guys. If you are purse ladies, and, I, and the reason I'm not a purse lady, can you give me those, those set of hooks right there? The reason I'm not a purse lady is because I've lost so many purses over the years. I'm not used to carrying them, guys. I'm used to putting money down here. And so when I grab a purse, well, um, that's before I lost everything. I used to keep everything in my purse. I was a young teenager. I used to take the um, city bus everywhere for work and things. Uh, Joseph, can you come back in? My husband gives me coffee and then he sits it back over there and he leaves. So long. Okay. Hey, how are you, Tiffany? How you doing? You doing getting some work done over there? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, and I used to get all these purses, guys, and I would be sitting on the school. Can you give me this coffee over here? Every time Daddy gets coffee, he goes to the bathroom and he puts it all the way over there and I can never reach it. Does it every time? Um, you said, "Why is the clover different from Susan Bates?" Oh, I don't know. I think it's how you doing, Lisa. Welcome in. Um, I'm not sure. 
um, how is it different? But I know um, the way it glides. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's like this little um, scientific ordeal, but I know it really it does something. It's a really it's a difference. There is a difference. I don't know if anybody else can explain it, but the way it glides, it kind of picks up really quicker. I don't know if it's the, just. I'm not sure if it's the way the um, the. I don't know what it is, but it's, it really does glide. It really is. Oh, you did not get a notification? Did you have a lot of notifications on the top of your um, on top of your phone? If you have a lot of them on top of your phone or a lot of YouTube ones, you have to clear them out because that's what I've been doing. I've been every, every time somebody comes up, I go into it, I watch it, and then I clear it off as I go so that way I can get fresh ones in. And I've been noticing that. That's what Miss Tina taught me. She's like, if you have too much stuff up there, they won't. No one else will come in, so you have to clear them out as you go. But I don't know what the difference is. But I know there is a difference because I've used every type of, well, not every type of hook. Um, I haven't used Tulip yet, um, but I've used a lot of different hooks and there's a difference. But I can't exactly put my finger on it, but I, they do glide really, they run out really smooth. They do, um, they do give you like a really smooth, um, you know, like when you're yarning over and you're going through, it's really smooth. Even this plastic one. If you get clover, um, their larger hooks are plastic. And I have a set of plastic hooks that are inexpensive. And they kind of squeak a little bit as I pass through. Um, they kind of, it's kind of hard to get them through. They don't really act right with the yarn. But this being plastic, I was super, um, are the clover light? No, they don't, they don't have light on them. Oh, are they light? Sorry. Yeah, they're light. They are light. They're really light. Let me take out these and check on this one. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty light. They're light because a lot of people were telling me about boy hooks. Thank you, Angela. That's a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. I couldn't think. That's a difference. When you're talking about your weights, out of your hooks, these are really lightweight. They're really, really lightweight. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. You're saying, Monda, do you feel better? That's good. Okay, so I'm not a fan of Susan Bates hooks. I'd rather have boy or yarnology. Now that's one hook I don't have. I don't have the yarnology. And also does I love I used to like Susan Bates. I used to use them. I'm having to use them in a while because I got hooked on the ergonomics. But do um do Susan Bates have an ergonomic hooks now, guys? One, two, three. That's what I'm kind of curious about. Do they have the ergonomic hooks? Susan Bates. Cause I would be interested in getting just a couple of them, but like I said, I would rather spend. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't. When I crochet, I now I don't use all the hooks that I have. Honestly, I'll run to that one or two sets, and that's what I use. Hey, Margie, I didn't see you come in. How are you? Yes, and you said I love you. Love your clovers. That's awesome. Yes, that is great. I'm so glad your doctor changed your meds too, Manda. That is such a blessing because I'm telling you, when certain meds don't work for you, it just, uh, it's no good. Mm-hmm. He said, you're trying to find a sweet spot on my desk chair. I can't recline in it and I want to. Wish me luck. Oh, yeah, I wish you luck, Laura. Oh, my goodness. Come on, cheer. Act right. Laura, let Laura relax and comfy. Three, four, and five. Okay. Yeah, so once I get this, basically this row done, I can zoom through it like I want. And I'm trying not to crochet too tight. Let's see, one, two, three. Because this has to be done, guys. I have to get this baby done. I'm going to try to get this first row. This first row is going to kind of, or the second row, actually. It's going to kind of take a little time. But yeah, like I was saying with purses, guys. Oh, he's oh my, yes. Praise God. So, wow, I didn't know there was so many different. Yeah, there's a lot of hooks. Yes, there's tons of hooks out there. But like I said, once you kind of start crocheting and you find the hook that you like, you don't really go back to the stuff. I mean, well, I don't. I'm going to be honest. I can't say what everybody else does. Do you all like rotate hooks when you're working on something? Or do you just stick to what you love? Like, I have so many hooks that are not ergonomic like this. Like, I love ergonomic now. I don't really want to go back to the hooks that don't have this on them. Unless I start doing... um you know, where I make my own hooks and I start, um, who said that? Someone last night said they were making their own hooks. Oh, I think it was my friend Heather. She said she was doing her own, like, 
you know, using the polymer clay and like molding, a, you know, molding around the hook. Now I could do that, but I don't, I would never go back to the hooks without being ergonomic just because I don't like the way they feel anymore. Oh, he said, Dana, what are you making? I'm glad. Oh yeah, I am making a poncho. Yes. I'm making a mesh poncho because I have to wear this tomorrow for church. So I have to get it done. One, two, three. Because that's, that's how I started wearing these ponchos, y'all. I think I made one, one time. And um, it ended up being like that. I couldn't find anything for church. Every Sunday, I was just making one. Every Saturday night, I would make a poncho. So I could have to wear to church. <laughs> and that's how I got so many. People were like, how do you have so many of those? It, it all stemmed from me not having anything to wear. <laughs> that's really how it happened. People were like, well, how did you really, like, seriously? You are literally, you have, like, millions of these. Yeah. It's called not having anything to wear. And I just, my husband has, like, so many different things. So many different, like, nice dress shirts and stuff. And I started loading up on these. But I want to get back into my sewing, guys. That's what I want to do. You said, I swore by boy hooks. Then I tried the club. There you go. Same way, Laura. Boy was all I know. I mean, I had a couple, um, jo a couple, what I want to say, Susan Bates, and I liked them. And then I let my daughter use them, and she, that was her favorite hook. And I seemed like every time someone would give me a, a clover hook, I mean, sorry, a Susan Bates hook, I let my daughter use them, and then she'd lose it. So now I have maybe about four or five Susan Bates hooks that I just have in my bag that I don't even touch. They're kind of like my little, you know, my little antiques or something, my little, I don't touch them. But like you said, I used to always use Boy. Then I ended up getting some ergonomic boy because I have a video when I kind of explained it a little bit. It's called about, let's talk about hooks, baby. And I was talking about how I used to use boy all the time. I got ergonomic boy and I started using them a little bit, but I didn't like them because they were bulky. Um, but then I started getting used to them. And then I got the clover. My husband surprised me with these. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is the best thing since sliced bread. And I started falling in love with them. And if I don't use those, I use this set right here. It's like a little, um, little generic set from Amazon. And they're pretty good too. Um, like if I'm traveling and I don't want to take these expensive babies um, out anywhere, I'll leave these at home and then I'll take these with me. And these are pretty good too. These have a nice little smooth pass as well. Um, but it's not, not as smooth as these, but they are comfortable. They're kind of rubbery. Nice little rubber grip. So I like them too. These are my second favorite. But I do use them more than I use these because I just get these phobias of losing my hooks and then I go nuts. I don't know if y'all do the same thing, but when I lose my hooks... It's like, kids, come over here, lift up the couch, lift up the TV, find these hooks. And so we go on this little man hunt for the hooks. So, yeah. So, like, if I'm, you know, if I'm sitting still, I use my clovers. But if I don't, if I'm not sitting still or anything, um, if I'm traveling, I'm taking something to go, I'll take those because um, I'm planning on not losing them. But if I do lose them, I'm not as hurt as I would be for these. I really would probably be hurt. Like, oh, my gosh, I lost my hook. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to get through this. Once I get through this part, it'll be simple because I don't have to do any counting or anything anymore. That's the fun thing about crocheting. You get to count. And that's why all my knitting friends are like, that's the best thing about knitting. You don't have to do so much counting unless, um, depending on what you're making or whatever, but um, you don't have to do a lot of counting. Yeah, she said, I'm still here and the sound is low. But I'm still trying to hear everything. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Tina. I appreciate you. Appreciate you for hanging out. I really, really do. So there we go. I, now I can have some fun, guys. Now I can just kind of breeze through it. Margie, what are you doing over there in the PA? How was your weather today? Did you get all that rain and stuff? Or you been doing pretty good over there? Oh, my goodness. Everybody. I'm sorry. I just forgot. Did y'all see the wedding today? over at Charlie's. <laughs> Tell me, did you guys see the wedding? <laughs> did y'all see it? Congratulations, Charlie, if you catch this replay. <laughs> did y'all see that? I was like, look at Charlie. That was so sweet. Yes, I caught some lives today. I caught some lives, some replays, lots of videos. Oh my goodness. I saw the Wonder Women today. Oh yeah, I had some fun. I got to see lots of videos today. Oh, yeah. Did y'all see the wedding? <laughs> yes, the alien wedding. <laughs> yes. 
He said, I love it outside. Today I'm feeling inside because the devil got in his birthday present and it was a bit loud. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It was a bit noisy. You didn't want to have to make all that noise. Yeah. But yeah. I like the live. You did the live outside. It was really great. And you got to go in for the Happy Meal. So I got to go finish up the Happy Meal video. Because when you did your Happy Meal video, I was still filming one of my videos. So I'm like, I started watching it. And then I was like, I started filming. And I wasn't really planning on going live. But Miss Tina was like, are you going to go live? And I was like, okay. Like, even last night, I had the same thing. I didn't plan on going live. But I guess it's kind of good to kind of go live a little bit. Especially, I can just kind of get work myself up, you know. Might as well just do as much as I can when I get a chance. And I guess that's how it is. You know, we have those days we don't kind of... It's like, I don't know. But if you got people that are pushing you, it's like, just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Take that push. Okay, and you said... Beautiful today. I'm fighting with my internet. Dang thing keeps on going off and on. Yeah. Oh, have you ever reset your modem or anything? I had to do that the other day. Because, I mean, you pay. Internet is not really cheap. And um, I've been doing the same exact thing. It seems like at nighttime it wants to act up. Um, and then I know my kids have lots of different devices and stuff. But it still kind of gets on my nerves because, I mean, if we're paying this penny for this internet, um, it should kind of let us. It, it should work, you know? So I ended up resetting my box. My I took I unplugged my modem for about 30 seconds and I plugged it back in. And I believe it kind of just started working a little bit better. I'm down here. Okay, let me see. I'm sorry. Yes. It's a beautiful it's a, okay, I said that part. You said yes, it's a wedding, LOL. She just now done a giveaway a video. Oh, she did? Oh, did she? I didn't even see that. Okay, I gotta go check it out. Cause I still I'm trying to get her into trying to Get those settings right where I can get that bell. Because when you guys come up, you, I got I just hit Mimi's. I just hit Laura's video, um, bell. I got Granny's bell up. I got Sandy's bell up. So when your bells hit, come up, I automatically get your um, your your notifications. So I can just go up and like hurry up and get it to them if I'm if I'm uh, at a good time. I can just go check you out right away. Now Charlie, I just have to go and search her name and everything. But I just wish I can get to her bell so that way I can you know access them. So now I get to go check out her video. I get to check out her um, giveaway video. She said, I'm so thrilled for her. And you know what? She is rocking that. Oh, my. That purple here, I love it. I love it. That is so beautiful, isn't it? And she did a great job. It's beautiful. So wait till you see what it is. It's only a great room. Oh, my goodness. Really? Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see it. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to see it, Laura. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry if anyone spoke. I didn't respond. Oh, yes. Because you got, did you get, what were those memory bears that you had got, Laura? I remember seeing those. They were beautiful. And you said, okay. You said, sorry if anyone spoke. I didn't respond. Had to go to the, oh, yes, no problem, Granny. How you feeling? How's that tummy feeling? My, my husband has to go get an, um, he has to go get his gallbladder removed, guys. He said, the tech is coming. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. Sorry, we're putting the coffee over here. Oh, no, you're fine. I was... What, is, what happened? Joseph came and got it for me, man. Okay. Hey, D. Everybody saying, hey, Granny said, D, did you hear? Uh-uh. Laura, you fell asleep. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, you didn't fall asleep. Oh, you fell asleep in Zoom? Get out of here. Yes, everybody saying hello. Yes, Marty says, hey, man. Hey. You remember that? I said, hey. He said, hey. Oh, he said it wasn't the first time. So you're just sitting there having a ball, and then next you know you're knocked out sleep. Oh, yes, thank you so much, HD. How you doing? Are you working on anything? That pizza you did looked amazing. Oh, Marge, you got your gallbladder out? Really? How was that? It was like a really quick surgery. Did they do like an outpatient ordeal? Did you do like a laser? How did you go about doing that? Because we were trying to work on getting it done this summer, hopefully. That's going to be our goal, getting it out. Because that gallbladder pain and stuff is no joke. Oh, you still making a card again? You said, yes, you got your most memories bear. My grandson got his a couple days. Oh, wow. Yes, that is so amazing. So amazing, Laura. Mm. That was so touching. I think... There was not a dry eye. Like, no one had a dry eye. Seriously. Here, son. You can put it right on top of this. 
You said great legs. Oh, okay, so you got great legs. Okay. That is good. You said I got, you said I got, just got comfy in my recliner and try to knit or crochet and just fade away. Oh yeah, that's how it is sometimes. I think I did that today. Um, we had choir rehearsal, then we went to the grocery store and I went and got this yarn, well not this yarn, but the yarn that I got. And then um, when I came home, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go do these videos. So that way I can check on and see who's all live and who's doing videos. I was like, let me just go ahead and knock a couple videos out. Next thing you know, it was like six, something. it was like after six and I woke up and I'm like, I went to sleep all this time. And then I caught Sis Dora Beth. She was just coming in. She went live for her daughter's wedding. Well, not for her daughter's wedding, after her daughter's wedding. She was all glammed up and she was talking about how exciting and everything it was. So got to talk to her for a little bit. Um, I got to hang out with Brenda, Brenda Lane, I believe Brenda. I want to say Brenda Lane. I went on her live for a little bit. So I just, I kind of get on a little bit of everybody's lives. Went to Miss Tina's live, and then I caught a lot of videos. Today must have been like a little Happy Milk day, because everybody filmed Happy Milk videos. So I was excited. We said, yes, okay, you're talking to squirrel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Praying for Joe's speedy recovery. Oh, yes, thank you so much, Gail. Thank you. Appreciate the prayers and the love. Yes, you said, you will feel better after it's out, Joe. Speedy recovery for you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You hear me? Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. He's like, Lisa yelled at me once another time, and that will make you. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. That's very, very hilarious, though. It really is. <laughs> I want to and then with Zoom, you're right on camera, so people can just see you sleeping. It's not like you know, unless you hit your camera, but for the most part, people can just see you sleeping. And you know what? What's funny? My kid. I have two children who sleep with their eyes open. My youngest son, he's six, he sleeps with his eyes open. My daughter, who's 17, she sleeps with her eyes open. And when my youngest son, he was like really young and um, he's a snorer. <laughs> he's, a, he's a snorer. He's been snoring probably forever. So there was a night where he was snoring and he had his mouth open. He was snoring. And so it was like producing this little bubbly drool, right? And he was, his eyes were open and they're like in the back of his head and he's producing this little white bubbly drool. And so it just, that will really freak you out. If you're coming from one room to another, he got, his, his eyes are on the back of his head. He's foaming at the mouth. And you see that from the, <laughs> I just shook him so hard. And I was like, are you okay? Like, <laughs> it was hilarious, but he was okay. But I'm just like, oh yeah, that's a fright to see, seriously, because <clears throat> both of those are the combo, <clears throat> foaming at the mouth and your eyes are open while you sleep. Yeah, my kids. Only my kids, right? He said, Send, sending prayer. Oh, thank you so much, Lord. I appreciate the prayers. He said, yes, I have my gallbladder removed. I told him I was in so much pain. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. He said, it was not funny. Oh, it was not funny. It's all just, just pain. Exactly. That's what he was dealing with. It started off with just like lots of pain. It, it, we would be driving down the street, right, babe? Yep. You want to say a little bit about it? You can feel Okay, um, we would be driving down the street and he would be having like to pull over and like he'd just be like, um, bent over in pain. Everyone knows it's gonna happen. Oh, yep, everyone knows it's gonna happen. <laughs> so everybody just knows they're like, oh, yeah, very used to it. But at least you get to join and have some fun. I mean, hey, hey, how you doing, Don? Welcome in. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you. How are you tonight? Or this morning? It might be morning. I'm not sure exactly where you are. It's morning here. He said, that's funny. I've had to get a video. For, but Oh, yeah. Yes, Laura. You know I'm about the black male pics. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm all about the... Oh, my goodness, y'all. Y'all don't not... I don't know if y'all been kind of catching up with all these different prank videos that are going around. So, there's different prank videos going on. There's this one... Oh, let me catch up. Hold on. Let me catch up with all of your comments. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, yes. He said, Dana, take me with you to church tomorrow. Oh, okay. I may take you, depending on... I probably, I probably could. Oh. Probably could probably film some church tomorrow. And he said, yes. Everybody showing some love. So, whip. He said, no joke. He said, my gallbladder out last year. Oh, you got out last year. He said, me too, Dana. Granny D. Wow, really? Wow. 
Yes. Oh, you're watching everybody today too. Yes, I was watching everybody today too. Oh yeah, watch Granny D. I forgot about we watched Granny D today too. Yes. Oh yeah, we watched everybody because I didn't get to know if I was gonna be able to check out Granny D. Oh, you know what? I had to watch Granny D's replay because when I got home, my church was over already, and I figured that because Granny D does three o'clock um on Saturdays and Sundays, and so I know it's gonna be like I always have to catch her replays. Yeah, I didn't get to catch her in her live, but I did catch the replay. And I did, I wish I could have caught that sale. Oh my goodness! Did y'all anybody catch the sale, the bracelet sale that Granny D posted? Oh, I missed it. Oh, okay, you said you're at you're in Texas. It's just midnight. Okay, okay, that's good. You said, hey, everybody's showing like I can't tell everybody. I can't tell everything that you're talking about. I do pray for everybody. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, this is my um, mesh poncho um, that I have a pattern for. It's a tutorial. If you go to my tutorials, I have like a little tutorial playlist. So yeah, it's a pretty it's pretty easy. I did this with Mandela. It's called Troll, so it's pretty good. Oh yeah, so we were talking doing pranks, right? You know, during this epidemic stuff. Oh, we said they have lots of sales. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, because I was ready to get something. You're like, oh, it's an hour sale. I'm like, ah. Oh. By the time I saw you were like, you said it was 7:45 in your video. And I was like, oh, what time is it here? What time is it now? It was nine o'clock. It was nine o'clock by the time I saw the video. I was like, oh, guess I missed it. Because I was snoring during these live today. I'll be doing getting my nails done uh, during tomorrow's. Oh, will you? Oh, that's great. Yeah, so there's so many pranks going around. There was this one poop prank that's been going around. Um, it's basically where you pretend that you have, pretend you're, you're in the bathroom, and then you call one of your children in to get some toilet paper for you. So while they're grabbing this toilet paper, you have your concoction of poop that you've made up and you have it on your fingertips. So when they bring you the roll of toilet paper, you kind of grab the toilet paper with your poopy fingers and you get a little bit on their hand as you grab the toilet paper out of their hand. And then they're like, it's poop on my hand. We did this to my six, our six-year-old. I mixed up, so I melted some chocolate chips. What else did I add in there, babe? Cocoa powder. I added some cocoa powder in there too and a little peanut butter to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And so I mixed it up a little bit and the cocoa powder kind of made it kind of lumpy. It was so hilarious. And I videotaped it. I just have to kind of get it where I can edit it and post it. But y'all, it, it was so hilarious because he was like, <sighs> and he kept asking, he kept asking Joe, are you for real? Are you for real? It was the most hilarious thing ever like very hilarious it was hilarious and the only bad thing is he for some reason he's this inquisitive minded guy he smelled his hand i'm like what kid smells poop he's like it's chocolate and i'm like dude why are you trying to smell it just rinse it off don't smell it <laughs> good night sandy love you get some good rest thank you for hanging out Thank you. I appreciate you. I know you and Mr. Wright got to get y'all some rest. I appreciate you for hanging out. I really do. You said I got two cuts, one up the top, and then took it out my belt. Oh, did you? So you got two cuts. You said one at the top of your, at the top, and they took it out of my belly button. Okay. Oh. So it was a day surgery. Okay. Okay, Lane. Yeah, because I'm getting like a different little, um, is it hilarious? <laughs> yeah, it was it was hilarious, y'all. I'm serious. If I have anybody in the family to get that like get like that, it's hilarious. It really is a funny prank. It really is. You said, Oh, I would love to start getting my nails done regularly. Oh, I know I would love to get my nails. I've never got my nails done, guys. Well, I am a licensed cosmetologist and I could do my own nails and stuff, but I've never really got them done. My husband was just saying it today. He was like, you know what? I want you to go get your nails done. Because I've always <clears> been like, uh. I would rather spend my money on something else, but now I'm getting older. Yarn. Yeah, yarn, crafts. But, you know, I'm getting older, guys, and there are certain things when you get older, you kind of just want to pamper yourself. There's like a, you know, it's kind of like a mandatory type of, isn't mandatory? I don't know. But it's kind of like I want to do this. It's like certain things like I want to do now, you know? So I think that's something. And it's, you said I was a cosmo. Get out of here. I'm amazing, Margie. That is so sweet. Look at us. We have something in common. That is so sweet. I, and I learned that about fiber floozy. Jill at fiber floozy too. 
And I was like, wow, she's down in Texas. She's and I guess I can tell because the way she has her hair nicely, um, nice haircut with the nice little uh, frosted tips and spikes. And I love the way she has her hair styled in that craft room she has. Oh, that craft room, I love it. And I can't wait. I know she doesn't like her internet because her internet's acting up. And she wants to get her lives and her watch hours. And she was going live the other day and then her internet was acting up. So I felt so bad for her because I know what it's like when you want to get those hours in. And that internet wants to act up. So that's why sometimes if mine acts up, I'm like, kids, get off of that stuff. But I know Jill is in a different area. So it's it, it's hard, you know. It's hard when you're in these different um, rural, rural, you know, R-U-R-A-L areas. And um, it's not, you know, the towers and stuff are so far and spread apart. It's really kind of hard to have that really good signal. And I feel like they should have some type of technology for that now. You know? There's so much technology. They should have something better for, you know, when you're out in these open areas. There should be something better. I mean, people need signal to be able to reach, you know, whoever they need to reach. You know, and the Internet is important now, you know. It's not saying you have to be stuck on it all the time, but you should be able to have it if you need it. So when I taught and had more moolah, I used to have my nails done every two weeks. Really? I just had the short squared. Oh, I like I like that too. That's kind of like what I like. I like the French manicure. I don't need anything too spectacular, but just give me a little something nice, little finished look on my hand. I would love that. Like you said, you know, it does cost money. You got to keep getting fill-ins and different things like that. But I love it. I always see my daughter come do my nails and pedicures. What? She's going to school. To me. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing, man. And that's really good. Like, you got somebody in the family who can do them for you. It really is really, really good. I used to do my own, and then I kind of just didn't do them. I, everybody in my family has long hair. It's hard for me to have nails to do hair with. So I don't, you know, I don't really stress over it because I'm the hairstylist and stuff, and I don't know how it will work with me and nails. I might be able to get, like, something short and, and try it, but I don't know. So that's good, man. I love doing it. Wow, that's amazing. Because I love Love to get mine done, but my nails are so bad that acrylic damage. Yeah, I know what you're saying. That's what I was thinking of, too. You know, the sad part, they look bad. They desperately need something just, but just can't. And I know exactly what you're saying. Sometimes you can get that little eggshell nail by, like, um, when they file them down so much. So that's another thing, too. You got to gotta be careful with that. It's kind of like one of those things that you have to keep getting them done. Because if you don't, then you have to deal with that, you know? It's like you have to, it's like one of those things. He said, when we show things or do tutorials, it would be nice. There you go. Exactly. Because when I do my tutorials, I got these little booty diggers on there. And people are like, uh, can you paint those? So now I'm trying to, I'm trying to like do something to my fingertips. Because I haven't even done a tutorial in a while. Because I'm like, I need to do something to these fingertips before I start filming them. Because now I got this lighting and stuff. Now people are really going to see, they're going to really see my nails in, <laughs> up close now. Because I need to get them, I got to get them right. Okay, what did you say here? Let me see what everybody's saying. Let me see what you guys are saying. You said, Rhonda, you are so lucky. I would love to have a daughter for my nails in the room. Oh my goodness, I know I would love that too. And that's how the kids feel, and my husband feel about me doing their hair all the time. Um, because it would be so expensive. You know, when it comes to hair, makeup, nails, that stuff is pricey. And I'm not saying it in a bad way. People have to get paid. They, have, they work for their money. But when you have somebody in the house and you can save that money and you're getting exactly what you want. No. Oh, it's amazing. I love that feeling. I do. I love it. Yeah, booty diggers. Exactly. That's what we call them because they're just like really good. <laughs> sorry, guys. That's what you do because, I mean, they're so small, you know. It's just hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just hilarious. That's what we call them. Hey, Pam. How you doing? Welcome in. Just late night crafting, making up this poncho. Trying to get it done for church tomorrow. Well, I'm not really trying because I have to get it done. I have to get this done for tomorrow, so. Hmm? Yeah, I did already. Oh. But I haven't did. I don't know about if everybody's seen these, though. Let me, I can show them again, though. What am I wearing? Okay, I don't know what I'm wearing for tomorrow with these. Here, let me see. Yeah, let me see my hair so I can show them. Okay, what do you guys say? You say, Lang, you know how to massage my friend. Thank you. Okay. You know how to massage my feet just right. I be seeing first soprano every time. Uh-uh. What? So, Elaine, you massage what? You're good. 
You say Elaine knows how to massage her feet? So are you saying Elaine, Elaine's your daughter or you're not saying Elaine's your daughter? Are you saying that or you're just friends or how does this happen? And you said I do mine in a not in obnoxious colors except when I get green at St. Pat. Oh, okay. Yes, I don't mind. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't really care, um, you know, what colors. Cause I, well, depending on what I'm wearing. Like if I'm wearing this right now, I wouldn't mind something to match, you know? Right, use the one. So use color street nail tips. Oh, use color street nail tips. Strips. Okay, that sounds good. I like that. Mm, thank y'all for teaching me some new stuff. You said, my daughter is a cosmetologist, so you think I'd hit her up for hair and nails. LOL, I'm just so low maintenance, though. Really? So you're just like, I don't really, you know, you don't think about it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank y'all for deleting that. I appreciate you guys. Because, you know, I don't know who these people are, but I appreciate you guys. I appreciate y'all for the love. I need your help. I need your help when it comes to this. Thank y'all. Because these people come in and say all kinds of stuff. You said, no, my daughter's massage for me. Oh, you said, oh, okay, you said, I thought you were saying, you were like, Elaine, you massage my feet so well. And I'm like, huh? Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to miss something that quick. You said, it would be nice. Hold on one second, Granny. Oh, you got more coffee on? Thank you, babe. Thank you, darling. Make first. Okay, you said, you said it would be nice to get nails done and know what folks are saying when you go in the nail salon. Oh, exactly. You know, those Asian ladies are talking junk. Oh, I know. Exactly. You know, but I mean, it, I just don't like that. I'm going to be honest. I don't really want to go anywhere where there's like saying all these different things. And I remember when I was in uh, cosmetology, I don't, now they're probably really, really more strict on the cleaning. But there was this video um, talking about how they would lift up these, like, the tub parts out of the bowl. And um, they would lift the tub parts out of the bowl, right? And they would go in there, and there would be this all kinds of goo and gunk that they never cleaned out. And people were getting sick from it, and their feet and stuff were getting infected. I was like, I think they're a lot better now, because this was, like, an older video they showed in hair school. But, like you said, like, you're going in a place, you don't know what they're telling you. They don't know what they're saying. You know, I don't like that. I, I, I've never been before, but I wouldn't like it, though. Like, you know, like, at least try to learn a little English. I'm an English-speaking uh, patient, not patient, customer, client. Like, at least learn a little bit of English so you can be able to say hello, how you doing, how old are you, do you have any kids? Like, you should be able to talk to me a little bit if you're expecting this good cash and a tip. I mean, come on, learn. You should be able to learn a couple words. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being real. Like, dude, what do y'all think? You said Granny D. You have seen the comedy video, but get out of here. Oh, I got to see that about the women who go to the salon for me. I want to know if I saw that. A part of me feel like I've seen it. He said, I don't do pedicures. I do my own feet. My nail salon is an Asian women, men, but they all speak. That's what I'm talking about, Laura. You can come on. If you've been here for so long, there's no really no reason why you can't speak a little English. Come on. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not discriminating, but I'm just saying like, if you're doing my feet and everything, I feel like we should have like a little bit of communication here. I can let you know what I want. Um, I can let you know if that's too abrasive, if you're a little too strong on my feet, if I got a sore spot. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, you know, I should be able to talk to you. He said, my screen is blurry. My screen is blurry? Okay. Can everybody see me? Gifted hands. Gifted hands creations. I got my, I didn't know my screen was blurring. Hey, is is a is a whole bunch of people on Wi-Fi? So I used to get solar nails and only I had to get the Yo use mine. I'm not even sure. Of that. Let me see. Okay, let me go back to where I was going. Okay, I used to get solar nails and only had to get the field, get them filled once a month. What? I don't go anywhere. Because, oh, yes, yeah, so you got to be careful with that. Like, what does it have to do with, like, 
diabetic. I know I learned. I learned some things about um, being diabetic and getting your nails done when I was in hair school, cosmetology. Um, they were talking about like certain. I know you couldn't do certain. You couldn't do certain massages. You couldn't do certain things. Like it was just kind of different. I don't know. Like certain things, I know you can't have. Like even when it comes to pedicure and stuff, you can't get rubbed certain ways. Like the circulate during. It has to do with circulation. Oh, it's been blurry since you came in. Oh my gosh, sorry y'all. If I'm if I'm blurry or anything, please let me know, guys, because it's because people are probably using a lot of internet. My daughter likes to use her phone. She likes to use her watch. She likes to use her computer. Like it's they just overload it. And I try to get them not to use so much stuff when I'm going my live. So I didn't just let me know. If y'all let me know, then I can tell them to get off. <laughs> so just let me know, guys, because I want the device, best. If you got more than one device on, you got turn on one device. Okay, you said. Okay, you said I get to dip nails. Just dip the nails in a colored. Oh yeah, I want to get some of those dip nails. Like you dip them in the powder. Oh my goodness, cause I I kind of grow. I grew out a few nails, guys. Sorry, they're kind of dirty. Sorry, but this one's not dirty. It's a little paint on it. But I've been growing them out a little bit over this pandemic, and um, I'm trying. Let me see. I'm trying to get a little light. I hope it's not. Okay, yeah, you can still see the light. I hope it's not the too much light on me. But yeah, oh, good night, Granny. Get you some good sleep. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Yeah, I've been wanting to get some of that the nail powder. And um, I, I guess it's supposed to be easier than having to do all those different processes of filing and all that stuff. That's what I would love to get that. I would love that. Mm, okay. All right, you said if you get cut, that's the reason. Oh, okay. Because I'm a diabetic too. I don't. Oh, okay. So you get cut. Oh, yeah. Because wounds and stuff don't heal very well when it comes to diabetes. Oh, okay. I didn't think about that. Because when they start cutting that cuticle and stuff all around the fingertip, you got to be careful because those cuticle clipper things are really sharp. Yeah. Because I'm a diabetic too. I don't worry about the hands with it, but I do about the feet. Oh, okay. You do your own feet. So that's smart. Yeah. Like you said, it's better, like you said, do your own feet. Hmm. Okay, Laura. He said, I would get dip nails because everyone gets their fingers dipped in the same power. Oh, you wouldn't get all. Oh. Mm, I didn't think about that. It's a little blurry. It's a little blurry. Yet. Okay, so it's still a little blurry. I wonder what's going on, guys. I'm sorry. It it's might be because of the nighttime. Huh? nighttime. Yeah, it's night. nighttime. It's probably going to act up, guys. Sorry. Like I said, you know what, what I'm talking about, Dawn. For some reason, these internets, I'm going to probably up it. To make it get it stronger, just because I, since I've been doing streams, I'm gonna try upgrade it a little bit, and that's what I think I'm gonna do. Good night, Granny. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna get it upgraded. I'm probably gonna be like you, Margie, and have the tech come out soon, and just probably upgrade. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, my my modem has been knocked down a few times. It's bit the dust a few times, so it might be that too. But a part of me feels like it's when it comes to that nighttime. When the night when the nighttime comes in. It's like the modem wants to reset. My internet wants to reset. It's like, you shouldn't be on the internet this late. And it wants to like let me know to, you know, we should all be done and let it do its own thing or whatever. But I don't want to get off the internet. I want to hang out. And you said, they can injure your feet if they don't know oh, what they're doing. And you have diabetes. Wow, yeah, like you said, they're rubbing too hard or doing too much stuff, nipping and clipping, snipping. Oh, yeah. And then next thing you know, you're hurt and you're injured. And you're right. Wow. Have you ever had, any, I mean, even those who are not diabetic or anything, have you ever had any bad experiences in the nail salons? Or everybody's pretty good? Or did you have to learn your lessons? Because I know sometimes you can get into a salon or, you know, someplace where it's not the best. And then you find that one that you just stick to and that one actual person that you stick to. I always said, might, might be mine because my internet sucks. Oh, no. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Don't mind me, guys. I don't know, because my internet does crazy stuff, too, so. I know when the nighttime comes in, and every and every, I know there's a lot of people said, who else said it was blurry? I think Dawn, you said it was blurry? How's everybody, is everybody seeing kind of blurriness? I think it probably could be just the nighttime. And you said, I wish I could upgrade ours, but I live in the country, so they say ours as fast as it can be. I don't understand why, but I guess it's what it is. I uh, know. I wanted to get a dish. Like, I wanted to get the Dish Network, or not. It wasn't Dish Network. It was, like, Direct TV. I don't know if you have it there. 
I don't know how big it stretches. I don't know. You know. Because it was really cheap. So we wanted yeah. it. Yeah. And we're, he had a bunch of channels. Oh, my goodness, y'all. And he, and he came out. And he came out and was like, oh, you can't get it. But both of my neighbors have it. Goodness, y'all. I'm telling you. They were like, oh, we'll give you every channel. We'll give you the football passes, the NBA passes, because he loves all the sports channels. So that was right up his alley. We'll give you a $100 gift card. We'll upgrade your internet. I was like, really? It was $200. Oh, well, yeah, it was a $200 gift card. I mean, it was so many different perks. We're like, yeah, come on out. So he came out, and he's like, oh, well, you have too many trees. You have, well, we didn't know it was a, we didn't know it was a dish, okay? Little bitty us. We didn't know direct TV had to do with a dish. We just thought it was a different type of cable. I didn't, I didn't, honestly didn't know. So he's like, oh, yeah, I'm not even going to drill this into the ground because it's not going to work. The best way to get reception is going to be on the roof. And honestly, you have trees around here. If the wind blows too much, you're not going to get reception. If it rains, you're not going to get. I'm like, so I was super hurt. So my partner has diabetes. He does his own feet and hands. He doesn't trust. Oh, that's good. That's good. Like you said. If you if it's not work if no one else can do them right don't trust it do it yourself I, I'm the same way that's kind of why I have everybody spoiled because I don't want anybody to go to any place and then guess what happens somebody messes them up how you doing Charlie we were just talking about you and that beautiful hair that beautiful wedding oh my goodness congratulations again on that thousand you're only going up from here so congratulations again how you doing over there what you working on are you at work. Miss Dana, your hands be moving so fast, crochet. We can't even see your nails. Just saying, do your oh yeah, do you crochet selfies? Just saying, do you crochet selfies? <laughs> yeah, I, I want. I'm gonna. I'm try. I was trying to kind of move a little fast because I was. I got to get this thing finished. But you know how that goes. Hello, jumping frog. How are you? How you doing? What you got going on over there? Working on the poncho while sipping a little Java slash Joe coffee. What do you guys call coffee? Everybody has these different names for them. And you said, oh, I've had bad experience in a nail salon. I've been cut before. Oh, when I was still getting mine done, I started getting just one lady because she never hurt me. Yeah, like you said. some I don't know if some people are in rushes to do them. Some people just think they're just like, they know it and they just go through it. They're trying to get you out of the chair. Some people are, don't know what they're doing. Some people are careless. I, I don't know what, what they're what they're thinking about. So I've tried many, but I have been seeing the same person. Oh, the same slime for Oh, yeah, that's good. So, Laura, you you have your spot. You already know where to go to. He said, there's Laura and Crystal. Yes, Laura and Crystal are in here having some fun. Yes, I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it. I've been getting caught up with everybody's videos. So I think tomorrow's going to be, an, well, I know tomorrow's going to be another day. I don't know if I'm going to be caught up, depending on what everybody's doing. And I'm trying to be like everybody. I see everybody's doing their videos, and they're doing short videos. And that's why I said, I'm like, I'm not going to be trying to get stuck doing too many long videos. My lives may be long, um, just depending on who's here and how we're talking and chatting. But I'm going to, like, during the summertime period, I decided to start doing some of the shorter videos, unless it's something like I do it from, from the Friday, which I still haven't done. I might just do it tomorrow and just throw it out there. Um, those might be my longer videos, like somewhere to 20 to 25 or less. Um, but other videos, I'm going to like try to do like five to 10 videos, five to 10 minute videos, honestly, because I don't want to like everybody's shoot, everybody's doing videos. It makes it so hard. If I do a 20 or 30 minute video, then, you know, Sandy does a 30 minute video. Crystal does a 30 minute video. Dawn does a 30 minute video. Charlie does a 30 minute video. You know, Ryan does a 30 minute video. Um, you know, everybody, Laura does 30 minutes. So everybody's watching these 30 minute videos. By the time we get done watching all our videos, guys, it's we 17 hours have passed by, you know? So I'm like, let me just throw out some quick videos so that way I can be able to catch everybody too. And people can, you know, catch me. Yes, and I gotta see the giveaway. I haven't seen the giveaway either. Yes. Yeah, that that here is beautiful, Charlie. Gorgeous. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, her hair is gorgeous, y'all. Yes. It was so fun to make, was it? Yes, Krista. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all are like, oh, yeah. I'm not going to. I don't know if everybody saw it because I don't want to spoil it. Crystal and Charlie, I don't want to spoil it, but the ending. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm just going to let y'all say it. Yeah, no. Everybody was just saying Charlie posted the giveaway video, and I didn't get to see it yet, so I'm going to get it after this. Isn't that amazing? We got to go. 
We were, hey, we were all working hard for Chris, for Charlie. It was amazing to get over that threshold. And who's next? Who was I watching tonight? Is that you, Laura? Is that you, Laura? That's next. Or am I am I mistaken? Is that you, Laura? That's next. And you said yes. She understood English, so I could explain that I have RA, and she had to be easy. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that RA. Ooh, we. So that's good. That's really good. You said, I'm going to be driving, can't type. Okay, all righty. The frog is on the phone. She's going to, oh, she's going to type for you? Okay, all righty. That's good then. That is so good to hear. Appreciate it. you. said it was historical. Yes, it was. Hysterical, <laughs> it was. He said, I do mine for only 3 to $4 every two weeks. Really, Shanita, that's what I'm talking about. He said, $3 nail glue and $1 from General Store. Then they said, there you go. There you go. Get you some glue on there. And then you don't you don't have to file your nails down too much where you're getting the eggshell stuff and you got some different looks. You go to the store and you're gonna find some nice nails with different colors. You're right. You need about 60 more. All right. Laura, we gotta get Laura up there, y'all. We gotta get Laura there. Laura, it's Laura's turn. We gotta get Laura up there, y'all. We gotta we gotta get to work. Yeah, Laura up there. We got to get Cat up there. We got to get um, Jill up there. I mean, we we got to get up there, y'all, so we can all we can all be growing together. Subscribers are hours. Oh yes, hours. Oh no, subscribers. I'm sorry, subscribers. I don't know how many hours you need. I don't know how many hours you need, Laura. But I know I saw that you were close to your uh, thousand subscribers. I don't know about your hours though. Yeah, so what about you, Charlie? How are you doing in your hours? Can you tell us, Crystal, how many hours um, Charlie has? Has she, has she been checking her hours? Oh, see, y'all are so amazing. Y'all are so amazing. Oh, excuse me. The first person I ever saw had their hours before their subscribers was Miss Tina from Crafts by the Rose. And then when I meet all of you all, you guys did it the right way where you have your hours first. I wasn't familiar with getting all these different videos out, getting my lives in. I didn't know anything about that. So I was like, I'm, now I'm doing it the hard way, you know? I wish somebody would have told me, you know? But I, you know, I didn't really know many people out here. Now I'm getting to know everybody. I didn't really know, like, what do I do, you know? So now I know. And I'm telling, like, everybody that's that came after me, I'm telling them now, like, come on, guys. But I know a lot of them don't have the time, you know? But I'm telling them, like, we're vloggers. So there's going to be times where you might be riding down the street. You might be doing a walk. You might be walking the dog. You might be d washing your car. Those are some videos that, hey, you might want to go live for and talk and chat while you're washing to get those hours in, you know? Everybody's getting hours. Okay, so Charlie needs 1,000 hours. Okay. Yeah, I need over 1,000. I don't know how many I need, though. I need to check. Because I, I, I've been doing these lives. They don't have them all processed yet, guys. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a check tomorrow and see. The last time I checked, I had like 25, 28 hours. And, um, well, not 25, 28, 2,000, 28, 20, 2,528, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, but I know I have more than that um, because I didn't, they haven't registered yet. Since then, I've done, I did seven hours plus, so I've did nine, at least nine hours since then. This is probably going to be about 11 hours since that 25, 28. And, you know, they didn't register that, what was that, that Thursday night we hung out? They didn't register that yet. And that was a big night, so I'm hoping I get some nice stuff in. Oh, Charlie's up my poncho. Oh, thank you, Charlie. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is my own pattern. If you want to check it out on my tutorials, if you ever want to make it. Um, but, yeah, you know, I, I did kind of say crochet loose on it pattern. You do not have to crochet loose on it. I need to put that in the notes in the description box. Like, don't crochet loose. I was saying that, but I don't think you have to have to crochet loose. I think you can just crochet regular, especially if you're using Mandela. Like this right here, I'm kind of annoyed, honestly. Because I'm crocheting it, guys, and it's coming out good. But I want it to be a little looser. I'm probably going to be yelling to my son to go give me a different hook. Because I love my clover, like I said, guys. But this clover is kind of... It's a little too small for me, and I, it's hard for me to crochet loose with it. So I might just use my, I'm going to try my other K-hook. I'm going to try my boy K-hook. And if my boy doesn't work, I'm going to go up to L, see how it works. You said I saw it just popped 
was posted it okay while you were doing your live but i went there i went there really quick and got the secret word oh yeah i can't wait to go see and i was just looking at charlie charlie has the, the bingo stuff going on is it too late to get into the bingo or how does that work because i didn't get to um i saw the information about it and everything and it was a maze one and people were doing their different numbers and stuff but is it too late to enter i know it's still may but i don't i have never gotten into them so i don't know like how does it work? When's the last day you can get in or enter? You know, I, I I would love to get into it and have some fun. Let me see what everybody's saying. I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. Okay, you said I have 947 subscribers. 9,640. Get out of here, Laura. Wow. So, Laura, can you tell me the secret to your hours? Is there secrets? Is it just like, what, what have you done to, like, get these hours? I mean, do you want to share? Because I don't know if you want to share. I don't want to just throw you under out like that. <laughs> You're like, okay, I don't want to share my secrets. <laughs> but I know it's hard work. So I'm not saying that, like, oh, I'm just like making you seem like this is minimizing what you do. Because this is work. You know, it doesn't just come overnight. Like, oh, I'm going to sleep a little bit and wake up. And there's, there's hours. No, it doesn't work like that. And you said, what type of yarn? Oh, this is Mandela Ombre. I didn't even tell anybody the color, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. It kind of looks like blue jean to me a little bit. And it's really squishy. It's called Harmony. I like Harmony, guys. So, yeah, it's really pretty. My husband's going to be wearing blue tomorrow. And so, I decided to wear blue, too. And he got me all these different sandals. And I forgot to show you guys my sandals. I showed a few of you, um, what, Friday or Thursday. But everybody wasn't here. So, I got to show. These are some sandals that he got me on sale. I have some different ones, too. I have to wait till he gets down so he can handle. Oh, Manda's good night. Good night, Manda. Love you. Mwah. Get some good sleep. Thank you for hanging out like always. Manda's, I think Manda was like, everybody has these, everybody that kind of start, y'all all started, many of y'all started around the same time. Did y'all all start about the same time? I feel like a lot of y'all kind of, you know, well, many people who know each other, y'all kind of like started at the same time. Or did you all inspire each other to start? You know, he said, good night from Charlie and Frog. Okay, good night, Charlie and Frog. Good night, Crystal and Charlie. You're just, oh, are you telling good night to Manda? Oh, are you telling? <laughs> Maybe you're telling Manda good night. Maybe you're not going to sleep yet, I hope. I hope not. I think you're driving, so you probably can't sleep. <laughs> you think I started? Oh, you started in July last year. Okay. Okay, yes. Love you too, Manda. Manda had to get some rest, y'all. Yeah, so you started in July last year. Okay, so your year is coming up. You got the year anniversary. Are you going to be like do a little party or something, Laura? Are you going to celebrate? Can we come and have a little anniversary party with you? That's what I want to do too when I get to my year. My year is going to be up in September. I want to do a birthday celebration and I want to do an anniversary celebration. So that's going to be back-to-back -back months, guys. Back-to-back <laughs> -back months. But I just, I'm, I love it. I love the YouTube family. I do. Okay, okay, Dawn. <laughs> yes, I love the YouTube family. I'm going to be honest. I really love it. I love it here. Like, <laughs> I see, I do all the other platforms, the Facebooks, the um, Instagrams. Um, and then I kind of found, I hope you guys, I try to request a lot of you on Instagram. Um, if you guys, I don't know if you added me or not, but I don't know if you have pri if you're more private or not. Because sometimes I add people and people are like, it's not really... Something you want to add everybody. So I understand if you don't want to add. But I think I try to find a little bit of everybody. But I love Instagram. But it's just like I used to rush and get on there all the time. Posting. And, but now it's like I rush to get on YouTube. I just I love it. He says, sure, I just want to be able to do lives on my phone. So when I go outside, I don't have to say, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know what you're saying. That's what I couldn't wait to do. And that's why I was, you know, I was always thinking I had to do it that way. Um, but then, you know, the crazy thing is my computer was messed up. I had a computer that was really messed up and the spring was broken. So I was using my computer by using the screen, by hooking it up to my TV through an HDMI cord. And that's the only way I could use my computer. So I had one computer that... Um, I had six years ago, brand new computer. I accidentally spilled juice in it and it just was over. So I could never use it. And I'm like, what am I, what am I going to do about this? I need a computer. Um, I had the warranty set up for it 
and I was just too lazy and forgot to send it out. So yeah, six years go by, and I just grabbed it, knocked a little dust off of it, and plugged into the charger. I had my sons blow on the cord and use their uh, powers, and guess what happened? The, t the, the computer started right away, and it works like a champ, but it's six years old. So kind of out of date, you know, I got a new, um, what is it, a webcam for it. It works pretty well, but um, I'm like, really? So I can go live on it, but like I said, I got to get some better internet because it will it will really lag, and it will be like I'm talking like this, and then I'm talking, like, it'll be horrible. So I got to get some better internet because I want to go live on my computer too. You know, because I want to use my webcam. I want to do the stream yard. I can bring people in and, you know, have some fun. Okay, you said you're doing, you're going to, you're going in the middle or what? Am I going in the middle? What do you mean? Am I going in the middle or what? What do you mean, Shanita? Am I misreading you? Oh, you starting, you starting August, Cat? Okay. All right, Cat. That's amazing. So, yeah, your time is coming up, too. Yeah, and I've been getting me. I don't know if y'all, do y'all all check out Kat's channel? I mean, she has a little bit of everything going on. So, yeah, I've been catching Kat, too. I got to read. The only thing I didn't catch yet, Kat, is your reading video. I didn't get that one yet. So, I think you just posted that, like, a little, not a little bit ago, but a little bit ago. So, that's what I'm going to be playing when I get done. I like to listen to you read as I crochet. And you said it's such a supporter and truly... I appreciate it. Oh, Monda, yes. Monda is a supporter. You're right. He said, man, I mean, oh, wow, thank you so much. Look, we're all, we're all supporting each other. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, I don't know. I want to get, that's what we need to do next. I don't know if Sandy's going to be like putting uh, Lore out there, but I'm definitely going to be putting Lore out there to get her subscribers up. Let's get it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Miss Tina. Yes, look, everybody, everybody's everybody's Support Laura. Let's go ahead because I think I'm subscribed to you too, but I will check. Yes. Oh, yes. And Margie doesn't have a channel. I subscribe to Margie too, even though she doesn't have a channel, just in case she gets inspired by all of us and just like, you know what? What the hey? Let me just go start a channel. You never know. You know, you never know if you get inspired and you're just like, you know what? All my friends are doing it. Let me just go have some fun. But it is, it can be work though. Cause then you like Margie likes to support everybody. So then she starts her own channel. Then she has to do that and then support us too. So either way, it's good though. Either way, you said I'm a drifter. Are you a drifter? You said what the stitch trying? Oh, with the stitch trying. Oh, what stitch I'm doing? Okay, I'm sorry. I chained eighty, slip stitched right, joined it. You know, then I chained one, single crocheted all around, and then I uh, chained one. Did a double crochet in the same spot that I joined in. I chained three, double crochet in that same one, and I created a V like this. This is what I did for the first one. After that, I chained three, I skipped three, and I went into the third, the fourth stitch. And then um, for right now, what I'm doing is I'm just chaining three, and I'm going right in the space. So I'm chaining three, I'm going in that space. Chaining three. Oops, sorry. Yeah, because I'm trying to do it in camera. Chain three, and then I'm going to go right in that space. And I'm trying to do it loose, guys, because this is a little this is a little tighter than what I want it to be, honestly. I like my stuff really loose because it makes me not have to use up so much yarn. You know, this is not as, this is way tighter than I usually like it, honestly. So I'm probably going to have to yell at my son to go grab my hook. Let me yell at him and grab this hook right quick, guys. Okay. All right. So where's everybody at? Okay. So yes, Elaine, we have been having a good time. Yes, I'm loving it. Yeah, so Charlie will do a shot of tomorrow. Oh, yes, that's gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put Laura on my Instagram as well as my um community page too. Oh, I I'm 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 gonna hope to do a uh, can you go downstairs and get my K hook? Probably my green pouch. Just get my green pouch. Green pouch is up here. It is? I brought it up here? Oh, bring it over here. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I want to do a shout out Sunday. I tried to do shout out Sundays, guys. I only did one because after that, I ended up getting sick and I couldn't do it. Wait a minute because I don't know if it's up here. 
But when I do my shout outs, I like to be able to, you know, show love to everybody, get everybody followed and subscribed and everything. You said about 9 p.m. Oh, I missed it. Let me see. Okay. So I was a watcher for years. Then I started my own. Wow, that's amazing. That's how I, am. I was too. Watcher for years. Never really thought about it. I thought I could do it, but I just was like, do I want to do it? And then I was like, you know. He said about 9 p.m. He said, I'm a good as I'm good as a watcher. Okay, you're good as a watcher. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. I know we all appreciate you, Margie, for watching. He said, just did on the phone with her, and she said, no problem. Okay, okay. That's sweet. He said, okay, thanks. He said, what are you crocheting? Hey, Karina Anna, how are you? I'm making a mesh poncho to wear for church tomorrow. I once said, I'm going to hold it for you. So I would say I would dye my hair neon orange when I reach a thousand. But I don't think I could get neon enough. You don't think it could get neon enough? For our, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That would be nice, though. I wish I would have thought of something like that. That would have been really nice to think of, like, oh, when I reach a certain amount. Okay, here's my K-hook. Let me show you what I'm talking about, the difference, when I say, guys. I feel like there's a difference. I'm going to see now that I'm going to use it. I'm going to see if it, if it opens up any for me. Because I, I like, guys, how many rows have I done? I've done one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four of the mesh rows. And it's I guess it's okay, but even this neckline, usually my neckline's a lot wider. So I'm kind of annoyed a little bit. I should have just really started with this hook. But I didn't know it was up close. I didn't know it was close to me. I thought it was downstairs, guys. Kind of annoyed, and I'm not frogging it because I don't have time to. But this should be a lot looser, guys. Let me see what it looks like when I put it on. I'm just kind of annoyed. I guess it's all right, but I know I'm, I can tell that it's not. See, I got to stretch it out. I'm going to stretch it. That's the good thing about this pattern. It stretches easily. I don't want to waste. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to frog it. But let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to these hooks. I'm not liking clover because clover is my favorite. But when it comes to, like, if I need to make something a certain size, I, I feel like boy is better. Because look at it. Look, look guys. Let me share, share with you. I hope you guys can see this. I feel like this boy hook is bigger. But I could be, I could be, you know, overthinking, but I'm not sure. I just feel like it is. I don't know if I can put my hand behind it. I don't know. I feel like this one is bigger, but I don't know. If this doesn't work. I will move up to my L hook if I can find my L hook. Where's my L? I got a big giant yellow L somewhere. Okay, yeah. If this one doesn't work, guys, I will go up to my L hook, which is 8 millimeter. So I'll jump from a 6.5 to an 8 millimeter if this doesn't work. So I'm going to try it. Because these ponchos work up really quick. You only do 20 rows of mesh. Once you do your 20 rows of mesh, you're done. That's why I'm like, I only have, I have four done already. That's almost a fourth of it done. I should, you know, it should be a lot bigger. I don't want to, you know, I don't want all that issue. Okay, and let me see. You said, Charlie said, if she can do purple, you can do, I know you can do it. Oh, and that would be nice though. Laura, you get your orange. You said, my problem with the orange is I want it orange. I would be afraid it would come out more red. Oh, okay, because your hair is so dark. Yeah, you're right. You probably had to like strip it up and like, Really like bleach it a lot, then put that orange in probably. He said, I'll do I'll do something special, but it will be a secret. Oh my goodness. That is gonna be so amazing. I can't wait to see it, Laura. I wish I would have thought of something like that, you know? Y'all have some good ideas. That's why I love talking to y'all because y'all have all these different ideas that make your channel come to life. I love it. He said, Miss Tina, you are so welcome. God bless you. And I really enjoy your I do. I love Miss Tina's show too. It's just like a really laid back, relaxing show. I mean, you know, and it's just really fun. I mean, she'll laugh and joke, talk about current events, talk about what's going on in the family. It's a really good time. And I like shows like that, you know? You don't have to, and that's what really podcasting and like, um, well, depending on what kind of podcast you have. Depending on, you can have whatever kind of podcast you have, um, you know, whatever you're working on. I mean, but I like it when you can just be yourself, no matter what you're doing, you know? And we, when people get to see you be yourself, that's when people keep coming back. You know, you can show them that you have a soft side, you know, um, you're whatever, you know, people, people branch on and latch, latch on to you when they find out how you are and how sweet you are and 
You know? And that's why I love all of you all. I love going to your channels. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all don't understand. And I just wish I had all of everybody's bells clicked so that way I could be able to... I'm like, I know I'm subscribed to everybody. I was subscribed to every single one of you all. Um, and I used to see Laura's videos all the time. But I think the more I started subscribing to other people, it was like, she, you weren't in my feed anymore. Because I didn't have your bell clicked. I wasn't really hitting anybody's bell. I was just like, oh, I'm subscribed, subscribed. And I used to get Laura's all the time. And then I was like, I wouldn't get them anymore. And then now I have your bell click. So I woke up to see you already having your first, your live for the day. And then uh, your happy meal. So Charlie's the only one I got to work on getting her bell right. So that way, but in between time before, you know, but it's going to be good once she gets, since you got your thousand now, Charlie, that if you can get your settings fixed for that bell. So that way um, more people can catch you because you know, your hot stuff now. So we got to get that bill right. So everybody can check you out because you got some good content. You say you have to, you have to bleach it. Yeah. So I was thinking you got to bleach it. You got to bring those colors, strip them out. So that way you can put that color in. Look, we're all trying to get, we're rooting for you, Laura. We're, we're rooting for you. <laughs> so Charlie is laughing. She said, all you need is black, bad bleach job. <laughs> I'm the one who bleached Charlie's hair. Did you crystal? What? For the first time in your life, you just did. It really came out so good. It came out super good. You did a really great job, Crystal. Because I'm telling you, when it comes to bleaching, when it comes to bleaching and stuff, I'm telling you, um, you have to know how to do it. You do. <laughs> you said, I'm scared out of the... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I know you're saying you're scared of a black bleach job. I know exactly what you're saying. You're like, you know what? I'd just rather wear an orange wig. Just, just put the orange wig on. Don't worry about it. Just get a nice orange wig. We'll we'll accept that. Will we accept it, y'all? Can we just accept an orange wig? Will that be okay? <laughs> Is the name of that blue look good? So looks that blue hook looks to be big and bulky. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's big. It's a big and bulky. That's why I never used to like the ergonomic hooks. I always wore I always use boy hooks. Um, but this is the boy ergonomic. And the other ones are the clover. But um I just had to use this one because I'm getting bigger work and I want bigger. I don't want, I want it to be drapey. Um, but that, with that K Clover hook, it wasn't giving me that drape I needed. I see a difference right away. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not knocking my Clover, but when it comes to certain things, I know I got to use my, my boy hooks or my generic, um, my generic ergonomic hooks. I know I have to use those because they're going to give me the right size for my gauge. But yeah, I wasn't getting that drape, y'all. I was like, this thing is super small. If you make this poncho, guys, it works up quick. And this is super small. Like, this should be way bigger than this, guys. I'm like, they're gonna make me, they're gonna force me to make extra rows, and I don't wanna. I'm gonna try to stretch this baby out. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stretch this baby out. Okay. Okay, yes. Laura, Charlie says she agrees to the orange wig, so you don't have to worry about the harsh chemicals. You can just put the wig on and do what you do. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes, and it was so amazing just to see, like, you're out there with the goats and everything, and Laura said, yes, she was a bad, bad, bad girl, and I'm like, I did not, because I don't, I don't know what I, if I didn't hear it at that time, and I just didn't put it together, and I'm like, she's talking about the goats, and she was, she trying to make a joke or what, because she's like, bad, 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 I thought of that as soon as you said that, and I was just laughing, oh, okay, for this yarn, I mean, for this poncho, I usually use one shawl in a ball. Well, actually less than one shawl in a ball. So I got to think of how much a shawl in a ball has in it. Part of me wants to say 498 yards, guys. I really want to say that. I really want to say shawl in a ball has 498 yards. Um, this Mandela has 344. Okay? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a little bit of a second one. And I never use a whole uh, shawl in a ball because I only do 20 rows. But there's times where I kind of make it really long. Um, so I kind of use close to, a, close to the whole skein. But you don't have to. You can use how many, you know, you want. Because I'm a 3X. And I usually, the 20 rows really works pretty good for me. Especially when I crochet really loose. Um, so like I said, just one skein of Shauna Ball. Or I would say at least, I would say probably at least 450 yards. 450 yards of yarn. At least just a, a, rough, a rough guess, I would say. But yeah, I would say definitely crochet loose unless you want to have a lot of rows. Because 20 rows is not too bad to do. But like I said before, when I was using that other hook, guys, I'm so hurt that I was using it. I should have used this hook from the beginning. I was being really 
I'm so mad. I couldn't even crochet loose with that hook. Like I can't even. I don't know why I can't crochet with it. I I was crocheting super slow. I don't know. Cause it was hard to crochet loose. Like with this pattern, guys, you have to crochet like you don't like it. Like you're like, ugh. Or like you're a beginner. Like, ew, is this yarn? This is yucky. That's how you have to crochet this pattern to get that look. Okay, you said, yes, I don't blame you. You said, my girl Penelope was being bad. She was ramming everyone. Really? Oh my goodness. Not wanting to share food. Oh, come on, Penelope. You said, yeah, walking the dog. Oh my goodness. In the rain? Oh my goodness. Are you soaking wet? Uh, sorry to hear that. I hope you can get dried off and stuff because this weather is crazy. <laughs> he said, bad goat, bad from Charlie. <laughs> he said, it's hard for me to find any channel, no matter what the content. Now that I don't want to find them, just easier if they find me. Oh, okay, yeah. I just like, I just go and find everybody if I can. I have a list. Like last night, I wrote a list down. I have a list of people that everybody that I pretty much see all the time, but I also have a list of people that don't. I can't access their bills. Like, I can't access Charlie's bill right now. I can't access, um, who else is it? Um, Denise from, um, what is it? Denise from Black Ribbon Studios or something like that. I can't access her bill. There's, I can't access Ezra's bill. There's a lot of people, bills I can't access. They're just locked up. So I have to write those names down and then I go and check and see if they have any new videos out. Because I will forget. Um, not saying that I won't, don't want to forget, but if you get caught up and you start seeing all these notifications and you start going one to another, um, you know, sometimes it's easier to kind of like, oh, man, I forgot wh where I was going to next. Because by the time you get done watching somebody else's video, somebody else had just uploaded something else. Here, there you go to them. So it's, <laughs> it's a never-ending cycle. So I try to have those days and nighttime, weekends, kind of like be my caught-up time if I can get it to be. But if I can't watch everybody's video, at least try to watch you know, if everybody does a video every single day, I'll try to at least watch a few of the videos. If I can't watch every single one, then I have a day where I go back and catch the ones I missed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you said, Rose, I got just subscribe. Yeah, I just go to try to go to everybody and leave a comment and let everybody know I was there if I can, you know. Because I know, I, if, I know this is like a, you know, you have a, it's a give and take ordeal. You know, and I want people to know that I'll come to you as well. Don't, you know, so I'll try to do both. You know, I want people to come to me. I definitely do. But I definitely want to go to people, too. I want people to know that, hey, I'll, I'll pop up. You know, I'll be there. If you have a live and I'm and I'm available at the time, oh, yeah. Guess who's going to come in? Me. So, yeah, I love it. I love to just meet people. I've always been that, a people person where I like to meet new people. Okay, you said, oh, you said Penelope was Emily's goat. So she is spoiled. Oh, like Emily was... And Devin, oh my goodness, and Devin still is. She is the queen of, oh, so sweet. I, I wish I had like some little animals. And I was watching uh, Dora Beth's earlier live, and uh, she had her little Lucky, her little puppy dog, Lucky. And um, who else had a birthday today? Na Nani, Nani's dog, right? Was that Nani's dog who had a birthday today? I forgot. I'm sorry. I just threw me off. Yeah. Brownie, right? Okay, but yeah. So, yeah, I was just watching uh, Dorbeth's dog, and she was just cuddling and loving it. And my little six-year-old, he was cuddling me at the same time. He was like, oh, I love that little dog. I was like, yeah, you can't have any dogs, though. But, yeah, he said, I love those hooks, but they are so heavy. They're my hand. Oh, yeah, they hurt your hand. They don't really hurt my hand too bad. I don't squeeze. I'm not a squeezer. I learned over the years not to squeeze my hooks. And that's what I try to teach my daughter. My daughter squeezes hooks, and she's like, my hand hurts. I don't hold. I hold hooks so lightly, y'all. I learned that. I had to. And you said D is having the same problem. Really? He said it's picking and choosing who can have the have the bill. Yep, you're right. You are so right. You are so right. You said I'm trying to figure out what to hatch next. Oh my goodness. Chickens are quail. Wow. So our quails quails are smaller. Is that correct? I'm not sure. You know. Oh yeah, because I saw quail eggs. And people eat quail eggs. Have you ever eaten the quail eggs? Because I've seen like the little quail eggs, like on the little chef shows and things. And people eat the little quail eggs and cook them up. And I'm not talking about eating, guys. I didn't mean to even go into the food. I'm just saying. I just was thinking about quail. Like, wow. That's amazing. So you just, I mean. Also, how long have you been doing the farming and everything? 
Laura, like, how long has this been? Like, is this forever? Oh, my goodness. She was, Barbara, she was so super excited about that wedding. It was amazing. She didn't take any pictures, though, because, you know, she's a licensed photographer. But she didn't go with her camera. Um, she didn't, she wasn't responsible for the pictures. But everybody who was taking pictures, they said they was you know, sharing with her and everything. But she said she loved the family. The family was really sweet. Um, you know, she had a really good time. She said they had a lemon cake there. And it was delicious. I mean, she just was super proud. And I was just super happy for her. She was very, she was very, very happy. She said it was really small and sweet. You know, they went to the Justice of Peace and they had something really small and sweet, but she said it was really nice. And um, they're going to do something, you know, make something big once all this stuff clears up, too. Oh, you said I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Oh, I did say that. Did I read that already? Okay. So Charlie said maybe there's a limit of how many times to hit the subscribe. Really? I don't know. I was wondering, is there a, a number? I don't know. I've hit a lot of bills, though. I don't know how many I've hit, but I hope it's not, because I was kind of wondering that, too. I don't know. I don't know. But I know I've hit the bill for a lot of people, and my bills usually come up, but like Miss Tina was telling me the other day, if you have too many, like, YouTube app, uh, what is it called? Notifications up there, they won't, like, you only, you probably only can have, like, four notifications up at a time when it comes to YouTube. And so I've been trying to, when it pop up, I try to watch the one that pops up, then erases it and do like that. But when Charlie did her settings, um, she did them the other day. She got them right back where they're supposed to be at, but I guess it never saved because if I go right now to Charlie's um, page, it still says for kids. And I don't know why it won't stay, get off of it. I don't know. So I don't know if it just didn't save or what. I don't know. But I don't know if you can try it again or what, because I would love to get that bill. I'm sorry, guys. You said, I don't happy new son. Isn't that sweet? You said, you love quail eggs. I make 12 egg omelet. Oh, goodness. So, like, I mean, do you taste the difference between a quail egg and a chicken egg? Do you have a do you have a preference which one you like the most? I, re I was just watching Rosalie's from Yarn It Out um, Live, and she was just talking about how she learned a technique um, from another YouTuber and how it's not good to use your hands all the time to like get into your videos and I do it all the time. I told her that she was like, yeah, she's like, they told her like, it's good to like have your videos upward here and don't talk with your hands. And I'm steady doing it. I don't know why I do it. Cause she said it annoys the viewers. And I'm like, I don't understand why I need to do it. I feel like I need to address it. I don't know. <laughs> I got to work on that. Yeah. You said, Charlie said, maybe. Mm, okay. I hope, I hope it can work because I want to get her bill. But I, either way, like I said, look, there go with my hand again. Either way, like I said, though, I will be checking Charlie out no matter what. I won't just, um, I won't forget about her or anything. Okay, he said our farming started as a homeschool science. What? We started hatching eggs. Then it grew from there. We weren't supposed to be, keep keep the chicks, but the guy didn't want them back. That is amazing. Wow. Isn't that amazing how you start off with something, just, uh, just a project, just doing a little something, and it just, wow, blossoms into something even better. Wow. That is great. Hmm. Charlie is not for kids. She double checked today. Oh, it's not. I don't know why I can't do it then. I don't understand it. Maybe we get a chance. Can you um pick, give me your phone? I need to go check. I don't understand why I can't do it. Maybe they won't let me. Maybe they don't like me. Maybe you two are trying to do me wrong. I don't know why they do it. She's she's in between. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. He said, I like cooking with duck. Ooh, and goose. Eggs better, but we aren't picky. We will eat them. Oh, see, that makes me want to try them now. I don't know, Crystal. I'm going to check again. I don't know why it won't let me do it. It could be my phone, too, acting up. So I'm going to try for my husband's phone. Because it might just be tired of me messing stuff up. And then I don't want to unsubscribe and then resubscribe oh again. Yeah. Thank you. I don't want to unsubscribe and then resubscribe again. I wonder if that will work. Let me see. What is this called? Have a yarn. I just always want to start typing Charlie. I don't understand. Be right back. Checking the bill. Checking right now. Okay. Okay, yeah. 
So remember I was telling you guys how it looks like. Look, see how her name is there and it looks like I'm not subscribed, right? That's what it does sometimes. But then if I click in, I know I'm subscribed anyway, so. But that's what YouTube makes you look. Look, and I click into her name and I am subscribed. See, YouTube does really annoying stuff. I was like, I was subscribed. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't even click it again because I know I'm subscribed. I definitely know I'm subscribed. But like I was telling you guys, her bill has a no thing on it. See it? Um, you probably can't see it. There's a, there's a uh, don't mind the dirty nail. Sorry, guys. But look, there is a line right through that bill. Okay, yeah. Didn't mean to click into nothing. Oh, there goes the giveaway video. Okay, but anyways, there's a there's a line through that bill. And if I click it, it'll pop up. At the, wait, let me click it. It'll pop up and it says this is this setting. What does it say? I can't read it backwards, guys. It says this action is turned off for content made for kids. If I hit it again, it'll say that. And it's saying it's made for kids, and I can't hit it. And it's annoying because I want to hit it. Okay, so maybe if you try it on a computer instead of the phone, it'll work. Yeah, I'm going to try it again and see. I don't know what's going on. Because I've been I've been doing a lot of bill hitting. I did yours last night, Laura. I went and hit your bill on my last night, and it popped up right away. Because I was subscribed to you, I just didn't have your bill hit. Because I didn't at first I didn't have to hit your bill, Laura. You were just right there on my feed all the time. I didn't even have to hit you. YouTube already know what I wanted to see. And then as I started hitting more bills and subscribing to more people, I should say, it just started getting really wacky. So I don't know what's wrong. But I know YouTube is run by so many bots and stuff they're saying right now. Um, so it's really making it hard for everything to get caught up. Like even when when Crystal got her I mean not Crystal, sorry. Let's redo it. It lets you hit the bell? It won't let me hit the bell. I'm probably going to have to unsubscribe. Like, I don't, I want to, I might, I might have to unsubscribe then, guys. Okay, guys, I might have to unsubscribe and then resubscribe again. But I don't want to start messing up her subscriptions, though. Like, I don't want to be like, I'm going to, I'm going to unsubscribe, guys, and then resubscribe again. I just want to stay subscribed. Oh I'm going to unsubscribe and resubscribe again. I'm sorry, where's that, babe? Okay, that's what I'm going to do, guys. When you get a chance, babe, can you go back to my account? You subscribe to her too, babe? Okay, my husband subscribed as well. Are you, was you already subscribed? Uh -uh. Okay. Yeah, I had the kids subscribe already to her. Okay, so yeah, you now I'm, I'm going to unsubscribe to her on my account and then resubscribe. Okay, so it's working. Sorry, Crystal. You got it. Yeah. My It worked. My, my I'm going to unsubscribe to for Charlie and then resubscribe. My husband just subscribed to Charlie and hit her bell. So I'm going to unsubscribe to Charlie and then hit her bell. So I guess maybe we're just acting up. I'm going to unsubscribe, even though I don't want to unsubscribe, but. Okay, so just unsubscribe, babe, and then subscribe again. I don't like unsubscribing. Okay, then subscribe again, and then hit the bell. It let me do it? It let me do it. It let me do it, guys. So yeah, I had to unsubscribe. So it's going to look like I'm a new subscriber, even though I'm not, but whatever. So I just unsubscribed, and then I just subscribed. Yes. Well, no, I did it on my husband's phone. I did it on my husband's phone. That's what I did last night with Laura's. I went in my husband's, on my husband's phone, I did Laura's and um, hit the bell. So I got it right, guys. I just had to unsubscribe. I didn't want to, though, y'all. Okay. Yeah, he said, Charlie was thinking, okay, yep. He said, I'm subscribing and close YouTube. Yep, that's what I just did. I just resubscribed, yep. He said, I'm just trying to get used to not being able to do go anywhere. Oh, yeah. And get used to, yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy. Oh, my goodness. And then I just saw a little clip of the giveaway video. And you can see how Charlie's hair is so, you can see it up close. Oh, it looks so good. But, yeah, I know you're saying, Miss Tina. It's okay, though. Just you're making the best out of it. Miss Tina on there? Yeah, Miss Tina's on there. She said she's getting used to, um, had to get used to being a homebody and stuff, you know? Miss Tina, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, steal your shiver. <laughs> Miss Tina, Joe said he's going to steal your shiver. Did you hear him? Okay, so everybody that gave me a super chat, thank you. Oh, yeah, you're so so welcome, Miss Tina. No problem. She said thank you for ringing my bell. And yes, you're so welcome. Yes, I rung, my, I rung your bell and my husband rung your bell too. <laughs> but one bad thing about mine, Charlie, I charge. Oh, my goodness. He said he charges for bell ringing, Charlie. How are you going to charge Charlie? She just made a milestone of a thousand. You can't just charge Charlie like that. Come on. Okay. 
Don't do her like that, baby. Okay, Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge Charlie. Okay. I give you a discount, Charlie. Free. <laughs> I'm gonna give her free. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Give her a discount. Give her the family discount. Yes, I'm so happy now. Yes. So, like I said, it just was acting up for. Ooh, I wonder. No, because some people didn't get their settings right. Because I was wondering. She said she's cracking up laughing. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's certain people that I can't hit their bell on, if I can unsubscribe and then resubscribe to them. Because I have like a list of people that don't, their bills are not working. So I'm going to unsubscribe to them and then resubscribe. Because when I probably was subscribing to them, all this stuff was going on and YouTube probably wasn't registering stuff right. So maybe that's what I have to do. I just don't want them to think that, oh, she hasn't been subscribed to me all the time. But it's good when I can actually talk to people when you know, like, I've been subscribed to you. Don't think I haven't been. <laughs> I've been subscribed, I promise. Oh, she said she's laughing, not monetizing it. Okay. <laughs> she ain't monetizing it. She can't, <clears throat> you can't, you can't do none of that yet. Okay, Miss mm -hmm. Tina, I'm almost. Uh, so I always tell people when I can't turn their bell on, I let them know that there's no way because I can't get notified. Yep. Yep, exactly. That's what I try to do too. I try to let people know, you know, and then if I can, I'll search their names and stuff too. But I definitely like that bill. That bill is a big help, honestly, because, you know, when you are. Messina ignoring me. I'm trying to steal that shiver. Oh, yeah, Messina, did you hear Joe? I'm trying to... Whoo, how you doing, Messina? <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> I need some money, though, Messina. You got, we got to... That, that... What, what I said earlier on your, uh... You said bands make you dance. Yeah, bands will make you dance. There you go, Messina. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Miss Tina said, oh, I can't be doing all this shivering. Mm -hmm. She said, You have to have Joe, where's Joe at? Joe gonna have to shiver for you. It mm -hmm. was so hilarious. Because Miss Tina was steady getting super chat in, and Miss Tina, Tina had to do her dance. I gotta figure out something to do when I get monetized. What are y'all gonna do? Y'all got your ideas? <laughs> when y'all get monetized, what are you guys gonna do? <laughs> Miss Tina already got hers down. She ready. I know Laura said she's doing some special stuff. She's gonna have some stuff to go on. He said, Oh, by the way, hello, hubby from Charlie. Oh, yes. Hello, how you doing, Charlie? Yes, so Miss, so y'all got any ideas of what y'all gonna do? I mean, y'all might want to surprise us, but have y'all been thinking about it? Like when somebody seen y'all super chat, are you gonna do like something? You know? Cause Miss Tina got hers now, she ready. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I gotta figure out something. I know Laura, you probably got some ideas because you said you got some stuff going on. We get your thousand. Are you still gonna yarn? I don't know what I'm gonna do, y'all. I, I gotta figure out something. I don't know if I'm gonna do a little dance. I don't know if I'm gonna. Have a little sound, a little noise, a little whistle. I don't know what I'm going to do. Do something obnoxious. I don't know. <laughs> do a little line dance. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to find something. A line dance? You going to jump up every time with a line dance? I might. Oh, you know they do that at like Texas Row House. They get up and say, Texas Row. They do a little dance. <laughs> I got to figure out something to do. You're going to just jump up in the middle of your video? <laughs> oh, you're going to have a big giveaway. You can get your thousand. But what about when you get What about when you get monetized, though? When you like when people send you a super chat, which is like somebody you're in the middle of a live video, somebody wants to give you two bucks, three bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks, in order for you to like show a little appreciation. Of course, you're gonna say thank you, but are you gonna do like a catchphrase? You're gonna like do a little dance. I mean, are you gonna put on the orange wig and shake it a little <laughs> bit? Like, what are you gonna do? You got Miss Tina got a shiver. Yeah, Miss Tina, Miss Tina, you go on her life. She's like, whoo, <laughs> whoo. <laughs> I can't steal that from Miss Tina. That's Miss Tina's thing, so I can't take it from her. So I gotta find something on my own to do. Yeah, I wanna do a giveaway too when I get monetized as well, though. I did a giveaway when I hit my thousand too. You see, you're not sure? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's, a, it's still some little time to get there, but it will come quick, though. So that's what I said too. It's like, it will come quick when, it, when that time comes. Because you already got your hours. So you gotta, you know. It's coming. So Charlie says, I don't know about the monetize. She's still on honeymoon. Oh, okay, yeah, you still on honeymoon. Yeah, you right. I'm trying to rush you. Look, I'm rushing like, what are y'all doing? Yeah, y'all on honeymoon right now. Where y'all going? Las Vegas? Where y'all going? <laughs> what happened? Uh, they had an alien wedding today. Who? You got to see it. You got. I'll show you the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to show you the video. You'll love it. Are y'all headed to Viva Las Vegas? Where y'all going? Or Hawaii or something like that. I know this one lady. She literally went to no, she didn't go to Hawaii. She went to some type of island. She said she's not coming back to the U.S. until the U.S. Is, oh, y'all going to the moon? Oh yeah, you're gonna see our moon. You taking her to your leader? So tell me, are you taking her to your leader? Just let me know. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I gotta get that too. Now I gotta get some water for it. Or it's right here. You got water? He said, like, I'm really far from thousand. Oh, okay, so when you get a thousand, you have to have a thousand. I, and I would say do some live videos, Karina. Like if you get a chance, you can use Streamlabs for on your phone or StreamYard on your computer and start doing live videos. Monetization is when you have a commercial on your channel. Like you ever watch people videos and they have a like a commercial? And you're like, where are these commercials coming from? If someone watches those commercials every time you have a video, they'll give you like cents, so many cents on your video. Like you'll get, um, you can get five cents, 10 cents, one cent, whatever they decide to give you. And it'll go into an account. Once you reach a hundred dollars, they'll be able to give that money to you. Um, and then stuff like that. But you also can do super chats, which are like people are doing live right now. If someone feels like they want to donate you a dollar, they'll donate, they can do that right now on the live. They can donate you five dollars, ten, whatever they choose to do, you know, whatever they have or what feel in their heart to donate. But that's what the good thing is about when you get monetized. People can bless you with money. Um, you'll have commercials and stuff like that, or ads in your videos, and you can get money that way too. So that's what happens when you get to this part. There's another step, you know. So those are good things. But you have to get four thousand watch hours. So you have to go to your computer, go to YouTube Studio, and look under monetization. Then you're going to see how many hours you have out of your 4,000. Before I started doing lives, I only had 1,400 hours. Now, it's been about a little over a month since I've been doing lives, and I have 2,500 hours. I probably have more. Of course, I don't have more. They just haven't processed them yet. But without those lives, guys, I don't think I would have made it. I really wouldn't. I really don't think so. Let me go back to your thing. You said, I thought Charlie said no. Did I miss something? She said no about what? I don't know. LOL. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened, y'all. I'm sorry. I got a headache. Man, could you call Let me yell for one second. He said, the one thing I don't like about Super Chat is that you don't get all of it. You have to give some to YouTube. I know. I'd rather give... Somebody said that... Um, <clears throat> well, I don't know. I was on what Granny D's live the other day, and there was somebody saying there's different ways to do it, but I don't know. But, I mean, people can do that. Like, if you were on your live channel and somebody was like, I want to bless you with something, like, you know... You can always make let it be known. You know what I'm saying? Like some people that don't know you know you or something that haven't been around a lot, they might want to do it through super chat. But if you have like people like me and you know, Crystal, everybody who's always around you, you can always be like, you know what, guys, love my super chat. But here's my PayPal name. Like you can put it like a whole little sign with your PayPal information on there or Cash App or whatever you choose to use and be like, da -da -da, you know, and people can want to just give it that, that way and do it as friends so that way he doesn't PayPal doesn't take anything out of it. But I agree with you with that cuz you can use it right away and I know with the super chat stuff you have to wait so long to use it. So that's another story, right? You're welcome, Karina Anna. He said I'm thinking that when Charlie said no to so me. Oh, we got me. Oh. I know. I know. Exactly. That's what I said. What did what happened? She just ran away and was like, no. I was like, come on, Charlie. What went wrong? He said, you know, everything that I do, all my show just starts by chance. So it happens that way one day. Everybody, like, oh, I want to see you. And exactly. That's how it happens. People want to see you again. People are like, oh, are you going live again? Same thing with me. Like, I just went live like one day. And people are like, oh, are you going live again? I'm like, okay. You know? And you just build a friendship. Like, people are... You know, people just want to sit and chat and talk. You know, and I kind of got discouraged one night. I'm telling you, I remember I told y'all this. I got discouraged one night when somebody was just saying like, oh, you're a crochet page. Why are you not talking about crochet? And I'm like, I'm talking about it, but then we start talking about other things, you know? And so it just happened like that. I'm like, that's what happens when you build a family. You're not going to just, you know, you talk about everything. He said, I thought Charlie said, no, oh, okay, you're married. 
So how are you on honeymoon? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, it's like she said no, but you guys are still on honeymoon? Are you guys y'all holding a secret that we don't know about? You say you don't have a plan. You don't have to plan anything. Just let it happen naturally. God would say, yep, exactly. Just let it happen. So I left for all on earth. I was not even about to, oh my goodness, Charlie. Look, Charlie's back to typing again. Charlie's like, oh no, I'm done. <laughs> like Charlie's back typing again. Charlie done left the frog. Don't leave the frog. <laughs> Don't leave the frog. Come on, Charlie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You say I'm not supposed to be texting little. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she over in Texas. I'm all left the frog. I'm done. Mm-mm. I thought y'all was going to the moon. She said, I'm done. The frog is gone. Y'all are hilarious. Super hilarious. I love it, though. That color is amazing. I mean, Charlie, do you plan on keeping that color for a while, or what do you think? Are you going to just change it up again? I love that color, though. You say I'm on the phone with her. Yeah, I know you're on the phone. I know. I know you're there right there with her. I already know. You're making sure she's good. Yeah, frog was a good sport. <laughs> frog was a good sport. He said, I had to get so many people on my channel that I have over a thousand people. I lost so many. I got Bennett, got where I was going, but I lost a lot of people. Yeah, sometimes it happens. You lose people, but it's okay. A lot of times they come back too, so. Or if you if you lose certain people, you'll get the, you'll gain the ones that, you know, you really want to be around anyways. We are back. Okay. <laughs> Gotta run to the outhouse. All right, Laura. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna knock this baby out. Like I said, I just gotta crochet loose. I gotta remember to crochet loose. So that's why if you see me like holding it weird, that's my way of crocheting loose, guys. I can't crochet this poncho like in a little comfortable you know, lower level because it'll like make me crochet too tight. So I gotta kind of hold it away from me. Seriously, like I don't like it. I don't know why I have to do that, but I really do. I have to crochet it seriously, like I just like, like it's yucky in my hands. In order to get it right. Now I think tomorrow we're gonna barbecue. I hope the weather's right, cause I would love to barbecue, y'all. Oh, I forgot to show you what I got today. I gotta figure out where it goes. Oh, you're preparing the meat? My hubby's preparing the meat, guys. He said, I can't wait to show you my pics of what I crochet for the first. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait to see, Crystal. I got this from Walmart today, guys. This is what I got, too. I forgot to show you guys. It's a $5 little vlogging thing. And it's a hands-free thing. So, I guess you can lay back. You put this on your neck. <laughs> it's a little crazy contraption because I was wondering how it worked. But it's really bendable. So, you can, like, bend it any direction you want. This is where you put your phone at. It stretches open like so. And you can like tilt it this way, tilt it downward. You can tilt this thing any kind of way. So like if you want to lay down and just watch your TV, like I can just sit here and watch the uh, the beautiful wedding today or anything I want to watch. I can just sit there, hands-free crocheting. Where's my yarn? I can just sit here and crochet and hang out and watch stuff on my phone if I want. Or if I want to, one thing I want to do is like, when I, I want to vlog. So I want to like really go through the grocery stores or craft stores. And I want to have this on my neck. And I'm like, hey guys, I'm in Michael's today. You guys, as you see right here, they have yarn. They don't have any. They have this. And I can flip it back around on me and say, hey, I'm back. And I can flip, you know. Or if I'm doing walks, I can do it while I'm walking in the neighborhood. And you guys can see, you know. So I like this little thing. It's pretty nice. $5 from Walmart. That's a pretty little neat thing. You can twist it any kind of way you want. If I want to twist the whole thing around, I can twist it this way. It's a little cheaply made type of thing, but it's $5, you know? But they probably, they may have some that are a little more expensive. But I like it because it's pretty, you know, it's a little cheap little thing, you know? And like I said, you can be hands-free. Even like I said, if you have a pattern right here, you may even have a pattern that you're reading. You're like, oh, you know, because I do a lot of digital patterns. I have so many patterns, I can't print everything off. So it's good to have it right here. Like, oh, I'm supposed to chain six, whatever, you know? You like that? Oh, yeah. He said, hubby and I have one, a couple of, yeah. 
I love this dog. I really do. Yes. And he said, I, I tried using that for the door. Oh, did you? How did it come out? Didn't come out like you want? Didn't work like you planned? Aw. I have like a little small tabletop thing I use. I'm going to tell my son to come get it right quick. Hold on. I need a, I need a better tabletop one. This one came with um a picture box thing. And I'm going to show you what I use. Hold on one second. That's good. Okay, you said it was supposed to be a square. Oh my goodness, Crystal. And it turned into either a hat or a purse. Hmm. <laughs> you said not quite sure. So I guess either way, huh? With the handle, it's a purse. Without a handle, it's a hat. Over here, can you give me this? Oh, it came out shaky. Yeah, because I guess it's the fact that it's they make it seem like it's gonna be super uh durable in the on the package. They don't even give you can you give my my tripod? Why would you give me an empty box of my life? Why would you do that? I know it's Um, So I have this little thing right here. It came with this little box. It's like a little light box. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. It's like a um, square type of box. And you can put your pictures. Like if you want to take... um, If you want to take pictures of your work, like your crochet stuff or whatever you have, you can put it inside this box. It's like a little photo box. And it came with this. It said it was going to be like a different type of tabletop thing and it came with this instead so on here i would put like um my little bracket i have like a little phone bracket thing the phone case bracket thing stick that on there and then i can tilt this any direction i want this thing kind of gets tilted any kind of direction i can tilt it downward upward whatever and i do that and then um i have it sitting here and then i use my you know i can look at my phone and i go through it that way so it's pretty good i might try to do like a video on how i do it it's kind of good, but I kind of still want a different type of tripod. I'm just working with what I have right now. But it, it works better than what I was doing before because I could not shoot tutorials on a big, tall tripod. I had it in my lap, and I was like, so that one's a lot better because I sit at my table, put that on top, and look through my phone and do it. So it's a little bit better. You said it's an oval hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> you think? Crystal. You're back. All right, Laura. You say, hey, Dana, they are complaining about making too much noise. So I guess I have to get the phone. Okay. Well, get you some rest if you got to go. Oh, you see, you want to keep me running? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Miss Tina. I know what you're saying. You got a lot of stuff going on. You want to have some fun. So the family is ready to relax and stuff. So no problem. I appreciate you for being here because I know it is late. It's late. I just want to work on this top. So if anybody, I know you might have to go or. What do we have to do, guys? I just have to get this done. This is like a mandatory thing. Now I'm getting that. Or guess what? I'm gonna go to church looking really, really crazy. So I gotta, I gotta go there looking a little decent, guys. I don't want to go there looking crazy. So my, I'm gonna go try to get this done. And I've been doing a lot of chatting, but I like to chat. That's one thing I do. I think that's why a lot of people like to keep coming back because she's like, you, she's gonna talk your ear off. If you want somebody to talk to, guess what? Guess where you can go. Because she's going to talk your ear off. But I do want to get this done, though, guys. Because I just, I want to wear this. And it seems like I haven't made a poncho for myself in a while. I was make, I was whipping these babies up at least once a week. So I got to get this done. And now I got to go tomorrow. I really need to go to this um, store called Meyer. I don't know if you guys have any Meyer in your place, in your cities or anything. But I have to see if they have any um, gray yarn. I have to get my order done. Because I want to start doing some other things. And I want to promote other um, goodies. And I got to get all the earrings done for my giveaways. So I got to get all that stuff done. Let me see what I got here. What's everybody saying? He said, Charlie, just order a tabletop. Yeah. Yep. That's good, too. Either way, tabletop metal arm that connects to the table. Oh, for a phone. You said, you telling her just to do that? Or are you telling her, or are you just saying that she just did? Now, either way, I love that idea. He said, I'm working on my Phoenix blanket. Oh, wow. Okay. I love that. Sounds amazing. What kind of colors are you doing? Are you doing like a uh, self-striping? Are you having to change colors? I appreciate you for being here. I really, oh, she just ordered it? Oh, I would like to look into that myself. I'm, I'm having a ball right now because I'm being able to kind of just jazz up my stuff. I just want to give me a good background 
I was working in my basement because my basement was pretty, it's really spacious and everything, but it is cold down there. Um, but I, I don't have a craft room or anything, guys. So I've been working upstairs in my living room on my little wall. I got my wall over there, but I want my yarn behind me. You know, I want my, I want everybody to see my yarn. I got these really nice, uh, Langria yarn cases and stuff and all my yarns there. And I want to kind of have it set up down there so that way um, everybody can see my yarn, my sewing machine, my little stash and stuff. You may try to get some heaters or something. But I don't know. With the, with the summer, it might not be as bad, summer, huh, man? Summer won't be as bad. Mm-hmm. But, uh... But I know you're going to miss me, though. That's the thing. You're going to miss me if I'm down there. You don't want to come down there and visit me. I mean, in the summertime, I could deal with coming down there. It ain't cold. Yeah. And then, I mean, I kind of like to do your lives with some of your lives. Yeah, I know lives. you like to hang out with me. That's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I just want to kind of have that yarn background, have a little fun, give me a nice little, you know, show off my yarn a little bit. And it's always a good conversation piece. Oh, you said she got it from Amazon. Okay, I'm going to check that out. You said I'm changing colors using baby cotton. But, ooh, from Hobium. See, that? now that's a place I've never ordered yarn, yarn from. Did you catch their recent sale? My friend Manda was talking about the Mother's Day sale they had with the, um, you get so much money off if you spent, you know, different amounts of money. And I was going to, I didn't get to get the sale because I had just spent some money on yarn. So if she would have just sent that like a day earlier, I would have been, I wouldn't have been able to get it. And you said she'll put the links in tomorrow when doing the shout out. Oh, yes. Okay. Sounds great. So what pattern number? To, oh, Karina Anna, it is pattern 483. Yeah, so it's really, really good. Very, very good. So, yeah. I'm trying to get this baby done. That is my goal. That's my goal. And I haven't crocheted loose in a while, so it's kind of it's kind of getting to me a little bit. It's so hard to go from crocheting really loose to crocheting tight. Or not tight, but you know what I'm saying, like regular crochet. Because you'll feel like, you know, it's really hard. And that's what I think I was doing too. I was struggling with crocheting loose. Because I haven't done it in a long time. I've been crocheting, you know, clothing, earrings, that type of stuff that requires a, a snugger, you know, stitch. So like, I'm going back to this again. And it's like, what am I doing? I'm, I can't get this right. So I'm like crocheting like a beginner because I'm like, because <laughs> it just feels so weird to crochet like this. Okay, so I'm not buying any yarn this year. Only getting new yarn from subscription box. Oh, okay. You said I'm allowed only to shop my own. Oh, okay. Well, well, you have a really nice stash, Laura. Your stash is, your stash is a shop in its own. Seriously. I'm like, you're, yeah. And that's why when I first saw you, I think, you know, YouTube, already showed me you right away when I started doing my stuff and that's when I subscribed right away and I was like I was just in awe looking at your background and I was like you know I was like wow this looks like a warehouse <laughs> can I come visit the warehouse and just you know hang out a little bit <laughs> Laura Laura I can't breathe I can't breathe I can't breathe Laura seriously I can't breathe but anyways, I'm sorry, Laura. But yes, yeah, I'm the same way. So I, I really, I want to start making some bags. That's my main thing I do. I got to find some, I got to find some dirt, some yarn. I'm sorry. I want to make some yarn, but I, I want to make them with yarn, but I want to sew some as well. And we went to Walmart and there was not a lick of cotton in there, but maybe some little scraps and little bitty things. And um, so, yeah, I got to figure out what to do with that. So, but I want to, I want to make some bags. That's one thing I do want to do. Yeah, she does. She makes earrings in tatting. Yeah, I make a lot. Of, I know I have like all of her earring patterns. I basically wrote them all down. I made them all. And, um, I haven't tatted though. That's one thing I haven't did any, excuse me. I haven't did any tatting. Barbara, have you did any tatting? That's my next, well, not my next, but because I, I, I have a lot of nexts. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of next, but. I, I want to do that. I have to. I have to go to like H H Tatting. I think they have like some. I think that's what it's called. I want to go to H H Tatting. 
and I want to get me a tanning needle so I can practice. Oh, and she says, I won't tell, I won't tell you about what you don't see. I think I can honestly say I'm a good rival for Crystal. What? Really? He said, Charlie wants to know how long it takes to do it live from your phone. Is it 24 hours? I don't know. It took me, I don't, I'm not even sure. I wish Miss Tina was here to tell you. And that's because it took me longer than that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because this bot stuff was going on, but it took me maybe about a few weeks or so. I don't, and I don't know why, but like I said, it could have been bots. It could have been anything. And, but Miss Tina's was way quicker. So I think mine was just kind of, they just tried to play me, I think. But yeah, Miss Tina's was a lot quicker. It could be 24 hours. It could be a couple days. I'm not sure. But Miss Tina's from Crash by the Rose, after she got her thousand, it was like maybe, she could have probably already had it. I don't know. But she did, like, like a couple days later, she did a video in Walmart live. And I'm like, mine took a long time. I think they just they just were doing me dirty, I think. Good night. Get some good, some good rest. Yes, I appreciate you hanging out. I wonder if you're going to make this poncho, Karina. That would be great. Oh, yes, you said, yeah. Yeah, OVW does have some tatting patterns, too. Really? So, Crystal, you you got a lot of yarn as well. Wow. It's like all y'all are yarn, yarn hoarders. Y'all addicted, huh? <laughs> and I thought I was addicted, too. And then it's like, when I sometimes I get orders, because do y'all do any business? Do y'all do y'all business with these? Or is it just more like, you know, stuff for the family, stuff for yourselves? Because I've been trying to do, I've been doing a business with mine as well. And so, um, it's like I run out and then it's like I still can't always get it back like I want it. And then there's always some new yarn coming out. And it's just like, what do I do? I start stacking up on certain yarns and then there's a new one coming out. And then a new one coming out. But I do like the sales. I do like the sales. And I didn't know. I was always, this, I was always a Walmart girl. I don't know for anybody who hasn't heard this story multiple times. I was always a Walmart girl, like, oh, I'm happy to shop at Walmart to get my yarn. I don't need Michaels. I don't need Joann's. I don't need any of these online shops because I, I never knew there were sales like that. I didn't know I was getting gypped all these years just going to Walmart, you know? I mean, I built up a nice stash doing it, but if I would have knew about the sales, you know, I could have really, I could have been, you know, I could have been in the big leagues like you all, but I didn't know about them, y'all. I didn't. I thought, oh, I'm going to get worsted weight yarn, Red Heart Super Saver for the rest of my life. And I'm going to go to Walmart every single day. Come on, guys. That's all I thought I could afford. I thought I only could afford that little bitty, you know. I didn't know, guys. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Now I do know. You said I can't tell a lie. <laughs> what you see behind me. Oh, my goodness. I have double the... <gasps> oh, my... Laura. Oh, my God. Laura. What are you going to do with it, though, Lord? Come on. He says, it's not lowering, lowering, hoarding if it's yarn. You're right. You're right. And that's why I said, I want, my daughter knows how to crochet. Like, if anything happens to me, <laughs> like, don't you throw it away. Use it. Make stuff for it. I don't care if you're making it for donations. I don't care if you're making it for the family or yourself. Don't you throw it away. Use it. <laughs> teach some classes. I mean, help the kids. Like, if you know any kids, teach them how to crochet. Donate them a small bag, whatever. But don't you throw it away. He said the Kobo looks like it might have, like, oh, yes. Oh, that Kobo. Yes, it does. You know what? I would like a nice, pretty bag with that. And I would like a market bag, too, because I love the mark. I love mesh. So I like a little mesh market bag. I would like that, too. So, holy crap. Wow. Hello. I can shop at your. I know. That's what I want to do. I want to go shop at her warehouse, too. You see that warehouse? I told you. A warehouse. I would love to go there and shop. He said, last year I had a budget and bought yarn just to buy it. I ran out, then came to the video of me standing in the corner, holding a sign, asking for money for him. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Then came the video of you holding a sign. Get out of here. Wow. That is a, that's crazy. That is so much yarn. Wow. I mean, and also, Laura, do you have a certain yarn that you like? the best or you just what you love what you love and do you are you one laura i feel like you are one of those people um when the new yarns come out
Do you like to go get the when them fresh come out? Are any of y'all like that? Y'all kind of like stay up to date to the newest yarns? And it's like, oh, the newest yarns, I got to go try it out. And that's what I want to get to. Now, I'm not going to say I'm going to load up on them. But I do want to get them out when they first come out. Like if it's a, you know, Red Heart has something new, Lion Brand has something new. I do want to kind of be like, hey, y'all, let everybody know. You know, because not everybody are blog bloggers, vloggers like us. You know, we got people that just watch us, you know. So it's kind of like good where we can be like, hey, guys, this is a new yarn to check out. Whatever else. You know, so that's what I want to do. But I want to do, I do want to stay up and date to stay up to date with the new stuff. Because I didn't even know about the Crayola yarn. There were people were telling me about the Crayola yarn. And that might be pretty old now because I don't, I didn't know about it though. <clears throat> Let me see what everybody's saying. You said I find myself buying yarn just to feel better. Like on days I'm feeling down. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's not, I mean, I do, I like that. It's called re basically a retail therapy. And, I mean, I like to do it myself, too. I like to buy my crafts, and I do. And that's actually better than, you know, eating down, scarfing down ice cream, because I've done that, too. <laughs> you know, so it's like, let me just buy something. And yarn is actually, I'm going to be honest, though, you're buying something that you can create with. You're not buying something that you can't see, you know? I've always been taught, like, it's good to buy things, you know, like if you're, like, if you just spend money and you just, you know, and you kind of feel bad that you just spent it. But it's good to buy something that you can see, you can work with, you can invest in, you can create, you know, that's the best way to do it. Now, if you just spend money and you like, what happens to that money? I just blew $500. I don't know what happened to it. But if you just spend a little something and look, I got me some yarn. I know I can make something with it. You know, if it's not for me, it's for my family or it's for an order or I can advertise it and somebody will buy it, you know, whatever else, you know, you, you, you're doing, you're, that's a creative investment okay okay you said i love the ice and mandela spark oh really Kristen? now that sounds like i love sparkles too i have one mandela sparkle that someone sent me in some happy mail it's a gray i forgot which color it is though it's gray and white and pink i love it because i love most yarn i am not a fan of blanket yarn yeah me either i i used it one time uh, to make like some little footies, little booties for myself. I did like it, the burnout blanket, but I don't use it. It's not like I use it all the time just because I don't. I don't use a lot of chunkies. I don't. So I love the Premier blanket stuff because it, it pulls off the string. Really? Mm, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the, the blankety stuff either. If someone gives it to me or something like that, I'll definitely use it. Um, but I did use the burnout blanket for some slippers. My husband got it for me. It was on clearance at Walmart. And he brought it home, and I made some slippers with it, and I'm, they were very comfortable, though. And a lot of people use them for those, uh, what are they called, the reusable water balloons. I don't know if you ever used those before. You made the, the blanket yarn with the reusable uh, water balloons. Those are pretty cool, but I just never made any yet. You said for most of it. Okay, you said for most, it's retail therapy. But when you have anxiety and depression, it's a whole different. Oh, yeah, I know about anxiety and depression, Dawn, so don't you're not alone. I definitely know about that. And like I said, you know, I used to just use mine as just eating food. When I get anxious or eat or depressed or saddened and all that, I ran to the food. I ran to the sweets, the cookies. I'll go bake up a dozen and snack on those, you know, so I know. <laughs> I definitely think creative investments are a lot better than where I used to just dig into the plates because that is not a good way to do it either because then you're still going to feel bad and heavy and everything else. So I know what you're saying. And that's why I turned to my crafting. Crafting is so much for me. Like, I'm telling you, I get into these crafts, like I'm creating stuff and I feel so much better. Crochet is a therapy for those who don't know. It really is. And you said, you have, have you seen the new date night yarn? Oh my goodness, no. You said, any of you have good lion sales for two, any of you? Oh, yeah. I know that. I don't know. I don't think they have any right now, do they? I'm the, look at how it's working up so far, guys. It's coming out pretty cool. Oh, this is going to be cute. I'm going to wear this with like a dark faded jean. I know. I don't think Lion Brand has any sales right now, are they? Because when um, they usually do the sales, but I don't know if they're, are they open back up again where they're doing the sales right now? Hey, how you doing, OVW? How are you? Oh, you said you're full. Oh, I'm the same exact way. I'm telling you. I'm the same exact way. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to grab something to snack on. Now, that's why I've been trying to get out of that. 
How you doing, Tasha? How are you? How are you doing tonight or this morning? It's probably morning where you are. I'm working on a. I'm working on a poncho that I have to get done. <laughs> I have to actually get this done. So I'm working on. It. I don't know how many rows I have now. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Almost halfway through. Oh, you're tatting some earrings. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, that's what I'm I'm making this poncho to get done here. I'm trying to hurry up and get it done. What are you up doing, Tasha? You just sitting there hanging out a little bit? Are you usually up this late? Or are you just... Ooh, are you eating? <laughs> that's what I've been doing, so trying not to, but... Sometimes I end up doing... That's why I try to pick up this hook and this yarn. This hook and this yarn helps save my life most of the time. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm trying to hurry and get it done. I have, I'm wearing this tomorrow to church, so this has to be done. This is my dead. I have a deadline. I have a deadline. Yes. So how is your blanket coming, Laura? How is it coming? I want to make that circle blanket that Sandy is making. That's what I want to make. That's my, I want to do that. Oh, you said we were, yes, we were just talking about you. We were talking about tatting. We were just talking about your earrings and tatting. We sure were. Yes. And I was just saying, I want to get, I want to learn to tat. That's going to be one of my things to do. You said I'm sick. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. So much pain. Wow. Yeah, I have, a, I have two friends who have that. Two friends who deal with that same pain. Really, I'm so sorry to hear that. Wow. I'm definitely, I, I've never experienced that pain, but m my friends always say they don't wish that pain on anyone, so. Oh, you say you started in this evening. You're on round six. Really? Wow. Okay, yeah, I would love to check. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out. And you say you're changing color, so yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. So, did you... <clears throat> So you had to shop from, so Laura, you shopped out of your warehouse to get that yarn, right? <gasps> oh yeah, we were talking about the tat, we were talking about your tatting. We were saying how, because uh, I was talking about, we were talking about earrings. And Barbara was like, yes, OEW has so many awesome um, earring tutorials and tatting. Oh, you're waiting on a surgery? Yeah, one of my friends had to go get a surgery and... Um, she had to kind of go get scraped. I mean, I don't want to say it that way, but I can't. She kind of described just kind of like getting kind of scraped and things like that because she had a lot of cysts and things and um, having some issues with that. So, yeah, she had to go do all that. Um, and she couldn't, uh, she was having trouble with even getting, being fertile and she was having a lot of issues with it because she was having endometriosis plus the PCOS. So, she was dealing with both of those. Oh, okay. You shopped at your warehouse? Okay. So how many um, skeins do you think you're going to need for it, Laura? I, I forgot. I'm gonna, I forgot, guys. I'm going to need more than this one skein. So I need to move. Let me see how much skein do I have. I'm going to figure it out. Oh, my goodness. I still have this much of a skein left, guys. So I know I'm not done yet. But it's going to be really nice, though. This is with some jeans, guys. This is going to be adorable. Because it, it looks just like jean to me. I look at this, it looks just like a nice jean. And I never use this. Um, you are so welcome. You are so welcome, sis. Yeah, you are going to, I mean, this is going to be perfect. I can't wait. I can't wait to wear it. He said, let me count at least. It will count towards my goal. Mmm, that's your goal? That's amazing. See, I like that. See? I like those goals. I, I do have a couple goals myself, <coughs> which are a lot. I have a lot of goals. I'm trying one goal I want to do is get my website all the way up. To, get my website all the way up. All of my friends have their websites up. And they my like one of our like our oldest friend, well not our oldest friend, but she's like kind of like she's older than me, I should say. And she like pushed everybody like it was three of us who had their websites done but not really like fully finished and she pushed us all to get them done right and two of my friends got theirs done and little old me still lagging in the background i'm struggling with my website because 
I make a lot of things and I'm trying to figure out what do I put on the website? Should I put everything on the website? You know, like that's so I, I don't even talk about it too much because it gives me a headache. So you're also telling my mom used to try and teach me how to do this, but she never finished. The, but she never finished the project. Really? It's really it's I love it. I do like to do this because it just kind of keeps me relaxed. I love to create. I'm really like creative and I love it. I love making stuff with my hands. I love to see like how stuff comes out. Oh, you say she'll use a minimum of 32 skeins for the baby. Oh, really? Wow, okay. That's gonna be nice. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see it. That is gorgeous. That's gonna be gorgeous. And I have so many different books. I was sharing in my, uh, one of my videos, all these different Afghan books and stuff, guys. And um, I'm like, I, I think I might utilize them seriously and just make something up. Do step out of my box. I'm always, oh, I'm in this little comfort zone. I got to get out of this. That's what was going to be my thing this year, getting out of my comfort zone. And uh, I think I'm going to do a doll. I want to make my first doll this year. I made two doll heads, and they're just sitting there with nothing no faces, no hair, no ears, no eyes. They're just sitting there. So I got to finish those up. So I think that might be one of my goals. Stepping out of my comfort zone, including doing a blanket or an afghan and um, doing a doll. Those are probably like one of my two things. Well, I've done two afghans. I've done a few afghans. For some reason, the afghans that I've done, two of them were made with granny squares. I had to connect them all. So that kind of scarred me for life. Then one that I did um, was a C2C blanket for my youngest son, and it was still a little smaller, so either I'll add a trim to it or I'll just make him a whole different one. <laughs> so I don't know. i got to figure out something. And you said, you should, okay, you said, I am creative with hair. Yes, my kid will let me be great. <laughs> oh, my, he will not let you be great. They get how blessed they are. Oh, yeah. Yes, exactly. That's how my kids are, too. I do their hair. I do. My husband has locks down his back. My son has them too. My oldest son has locks down his back. Never had a haircut. My son, both of my sons have never had a haircut. I locked my son here up at the age of two. My youngest at the age of two. My oldest son at the age of five. And my husband, I'm not sure how old he was when I did his, but uh, he's had his for a while. Um, and my mother-in-law. So everybody's basically locked up besides me and my daughter. And like you said, you do your kids' hair, they kind of think they're spoiled. Sometimes they want to wrap their hair up. Sometimes they don't. And it's like, okay, look, I'm glad that you think that you, you know. And, of course, you kind of still spoil them. You're like, I'm not doing your hair anymore if you don't wrap it up. Of course, you still end up doing it because you don't want them to walk around looking unpresentable. <laughs> so it's still kind of crazy, but that's how they do it. The, those are kids for you. Spoiled kids. Spoiled kids. But yeah, I love that too. I love doing hair. I think I kind of like minimum. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, and so I used to want. I used to try to do everything, and now I'm kind of just. I just do certain things now. I'm just like really. I do more locks now because that's basically all the hair around me that I do. Hair, or I do like braids, twists, stuff like that. I'm, I'm getting into makeup. I'm getting back into makeup, too. I never used to do much make. I used to do makeup a lot, <laughs> and then I was like, I'm tired of it. I got bored, and now I'm now I'm doing these videos. I'm like, I want to glad myself up for my videos a little bit. So I've been trying to do it a little bit, trying to just you know, not saying makeup has to you know makeup makes you glam. <laughs> you 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 know you are the glam, and the makeup is accentuating your glam. That's what it is. But sometimes I just like to you know add a little pizzazz to myself a little bit. Especially when you kind of deal with, you know, sometimes you deal with depression or you deal with anxieties and you overthink. You do all that stuff. So sometimes you're like, let me just, let me level myself a little bit. Let me spruce myself up a little bit. It's like watering a flower. Let me water myself up a little bit so I can, you know, feel a little bit better. Let me like, you know, and that's what I like to do. And that's why I love these things. That's why I love um, going live, guys. Because, I mean, when I go live, I have a ball talking to everybody. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. Did I Okay, I'm making sure because sometimes it's, my YouTube stuff does not show me everybody's comments. It'll jump to it'll jump to top chat instead of the full chat, and it's like annoying. Okay, and you said that is me. I'm yelling at my daughter. I said I am done with doing it. Exactly. You feel me? 
Exactly. I'm the same exact way when it comes to my kids here. I do the same things. Like, I spent all these hours doing it here. And then my 14 year old, I have a 14 year old son who's graduating this year from eighth grade. And I switched his hair up. For some reason, he'll go in his room. He's playing, uh, he's on his phone or something. He will grab one of my rat tail combs and start combing the front of his hair out. I'm like, dude, I just twisted your hair up. Why are you combing your hair out? Yeah, he does things like that. <laughs> he does things like that. Thank you so much. Yes, it's amazing just to have your kids graduating, even though they can't really have these big ceremonies. But my daughter's a junior in high school, so next year she'll be graduating. So, yeah. I, I saw one guy who gave his daughter a graduation. I don't know if anybody saw that video. There was a guy who gave his daughter a graduation in their garage. Well, it was in their front yard, but he made like a whole stage in the garage. And there was a couple other kids that she went to school with that, you know, they ended up walking the stage with her. He made, he had the announcements. He called them off, gave them their diplomas. It was really, really nice. They had their caps and gowns on. It was a really nice. And I like that. Like, you know, where you can kind of create a ceremony. That would probably be me if I could. I don't know if I might do something for my son's graduation. I want to do something like that for him. But he's kind of like, Mom. If you spend any money on that stuff, just give it to me. I'm like, <laughs> so he pretty much told me and my husband just to, you know, don't worry about all the extra. Just put that in his pocket. And I'm like, yeah, make sure you earn that extra, though, because I'm not giving you anything extra if you don't earn it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited, though. And it's like crazy, guys, because, you know, I'm going to have an 18-year-old next year. Oh, no, not next year. I'm going to have an 18-year-old this year, y'all. In October, I'll have an 18-year-old. And it just still, like, stuns me and, like, knocks me, knocks the breath out of me sometimes. And I keep on trying to tell myself it's coming, you know. I'm trying to warn myself a little bit so that way it doesn't just rush up on me. Because October will be here before you know it, you know. As soon as school starts again, October will be right around the corner. You know, so I'm not, I'm not ready, though. I'm not ready. She should have one more year of school. She's a really good kid, though. Like, amazing. Like, everybody loves her, you know? Good night, Crystal. I know you're tired, Crystal. It's late. Y'all on the East Coast. Um, Yeah. So, I know you're tired. I appreciate you for hanging in there, y'all. I do. I know everybody's tired, y'all. So, y'all, if we got to get y'all sleep, get y'all some sleep, guys. I don't even know how I'm hanging in there, honestly. But I'm still doing this. If I didn't have any... If I had something else to wear... I would be done. <laughs> I would be done, but I told you I had to get this done, and so like I gotta honor my word and get my stuff done. But thank you so much, Crystal. You and um Charlie, y'all both getting y'all some rest. So if you're going to sleep too, Charlie, or you get you know getting off the live too, I thank you and Crystal both again. Congratulations on the semi wedding. <laughs> I'm gonna be entering that giveaway too as well, um, and I appreciate the love. Yes, oh, you still here? Okay, I wasn't sure. But, yeah, I appreciate y'all for being here. I know it's really late, y'all. I know. But I know we got some night owls and stuff that's hanging out. So I appreciate y'all. And while I'm just trying to work on getting this done, because I kind of started a little bit late. That's because when I came home from the grocery store, I decided to take a nap knowing I had to get this done. And then I decided to do, film a couple videos. I think I did two videos today. I think I did two videos today. Okay. Oh my goodness. It was nice to do the kids. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's good listening. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, get you some good rest, Crystal. I appreciate you. I can't wait to see your hat bag, <laughs> your hat purse. I can't wait to see it. Get some good rest. I appreciate you. Love you. He said it was very nice to do for the kids since they worked hard. Yes, exactly. You know, these kids work hard. That's a big accomplishment. You know, even though, um, like I said, the world was kind of minimizing it. I honestly feel if these kids are working hard to go to school, to do their, you know, they're doing everything they're supposed to be doing, you know, they deserve it. They definitely deserve it. Dawn, you getting some good rest? Good night, Dawn. Love you. Get some sleep. Mwah. Get you some good rest. I appreciate you for hanging out with me. It means everything. I appreciate you. You know, I, I won't forget you. I, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, because Crystal's at work. I mean, Charlie's at work, so she can hang. Okay. Oh, were you driving? Were you were driving Charlie to work? How was that? Okay, well, we can talk about that later. Sorry, but yes. Good night, Crystal. Good night, Dawn. Hey, Latoya, how are you? 
Did you ever get you a name for your doll? I had a couple names and I forgot. I one was Zuri that I liked. Z U R I. And it was another some other names. My husband liked a couple names he had said. I didn't get to think of the other names. My memory just disappears sometimes. Oh, you said you have to do a darn good job. <gasps> what, Laura? Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh, I can't wait to see it, Laura. I'm going to love it. Oh my goodness. That's one thing I that's one thing I really want to do. I want to get into the boxes. The monthly boxes. I do, I really do. That's one of my that's gonna be hopefully one of my things I can get into. I can't wait to see it. Yes. OBW, night owl life. Exactly. You are so right. I'm falling asleep on the phone with her. LOL. Good night. Oh my goodness. Good night, Crystal. Thank you again for the love. Get you some good sleep. Laura's like, good, good night. I hear you, OBW. I'm a night owl. It's it's only 10. Oh my goodness, really? Wow, so you get to hang out. It's only 11 o'clock. What? Yes. Wow, okay, yeah. And you said, um, yeah, it's 3 a.m. here. We're on the East Coast. We're on the East Coast, Crystal, so we know it's 3 a.m. Wow, finish my doggy back. <gasps> what? Get out of here, Kat. You over there is working over there. Five time for bed. Okay. Well, good night. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, Kat. Get you some sleep. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Get some sleep. I know you got wake up for the with the kiddos. Thank you for hanging out again. You always you always support me. I appreciate you. Yes, yeah, so keep the names coming. I still need a name for her. Oh, okay. You do got some name. Yes. Oh, it's 11 59 here. Wow. Get out of here. It's okay. I will say this about DGY. I personally do not think it's worth it. Oh, real name. I was grandfathered in it. Oh, okay. Oh, look at you. Lucky you. Oh, wow. That's awesome to be, to be grandfathered in. I love the. I love when you can kind of get grandfathered in. Oh, get out of here, Tasha. You're on the East Coast, too. So you know about the 3 a.m. then. So did you get to take any meds or anything, Tasha? Is it any kind of easing? Any heating pads or anything kind of help? Does Do you find anything helps? Or do you just have to like kind of ignore it a little bit so it kind of fades or subsides, as you say? Yeah, so you said you were grandfathered in, so might not be the best. Yeah, because I see a lot of them that are $20, $30, you know, like the knit crates and things like that. Some of those are like 30 But like you said, it's so is the uh, darn good yarn, is it more of like a, what should I say? Is it like a hand dyed yarn? Or I'll see when you do it, because I don't want you have to. I don't want you to like. I mean, you probably can tell tell a little bit about it, but I know I, I'm not gonna like go deep because I want to see your videos and stuff too. Though, make make me have to watch it. You know, don't don't spill everything because make me work make me work for it. I don't mind working for it, so that way I can, you know, get you your hours and stuff, more hours, so that way you know. But that's why I was wondering: is it like a? My favorites are Southern Skin and Leather Company. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I, I want to check them out. I definitely do. I really do. I want to check them out because I like, I like trying out different yarns and things. I like the fact of having yarn constantly come in, um, just because you know, it's kind of like sometimes you forget, and then you get these goodies in, and you're like, oh, I forgot I was getting some yarn coming in today. You know, I love mail. There was a time in my life where I used to just buy like really cheap stuff, like on Amazon. I had a little money and I would like order like really inexpensive things. So that way every day I could get a package in the mail. I was that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that too. It's so a heating pads. I try not to take meds. Okay, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because you start taking meds and stuff and then your tolerance gets built up and it's like meds don't work anymore either. So yeah. That's why I, I like heating pads myself. I mean, I'm not dealing with as much pain as you are, but when I get that pain, I get it. I'm telling you. I remember when I was younger, even just dealing with monthly pain and cramps and things, I would have like a little bit slight pain. And my mom was like, really? You're not in pain? You're not hurting? And I'm like, no, it's all good. Um, and then as I got older, I'm telling you, I know I'm not, you know, I don't have, but I know fibroids run in my family and I don't, I haven't got checked to see if I have any, have any. But that's what's run really heavy in my family, fibroids. Um, and that it could be a reason why I'm having a lot of pain. Um, so I know my daughter, when she was starting, she wasn't having much pain either. Now she's getting older. She's been, like, experiencing a lot, too. Oh, yes, hugs. Look, Kat, I thought you was already gone. I think you're gone now, though. 
You said I had a chime, I had a chime in loading truck, but I canceled it. Really? Haven't said I, oh, really? Mm. Okay, well, like you say, you don't die your own yard. If you like it better, then hey, it might be, it might work out for you, you know? You said I would have stopped this month's knit crate, but I didn't see it soon. And really, I don't have time to die my own. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know if I have, I don't really have time to die my own either. You know, I like the way knit crates look and everything too. Um, I just don't know if I really want to spend it right now. If I if my income and stuff starts flowing a little bit better, I probably would try it. You know, just have a little fun. You said I need to open my knit crate. Oh, I'm behind him. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, it's twenty four ninety nine. Okay, with the promo. Oh, with your promo is only nineteen. Oh, I like that. <laughs> you said I'm getting maze box through. Oh, because the yarn is orange. <gasps> Oh, yeah, so that's going to be perfect for you then, Laura. Oh, yeah. You're like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this. I'm going to grab this one up. Now, I don't know about you other months, but I'm getting my orange. So that's going to be good. Ooh, that can, you can make, maybe you can make something to go with your special announcement when it comes. Oh, yeah, Laura. That, is that the surprise? Oops, let me be quiet. Because <laughs> like, I want pretty yarn. I don't want to, I don't want to die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I love pretty yarn too. I've been seeing so many people get into the dyeing business. I know it's from work. I know it's some work, but I love the way it looks. I do. So I wouldn't mind trying to dye my own, but I don't want to use school. Oh yeah, you don't want to use school aid. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to use it either. I'm not even sure what everybody uses when they dye, but I've seen so many people have so many techniques. I mean, I'm seeing speckles and ombres and stripes. I mean, I'm like. I never really looked up any tutorials or any type of things like that. But I love the way it looks. I do. I really do. I love the way it looks. But like you said, it takes a lot of time because I see it does have to be saturated well. You know, you can't really get... And then I guess you got to make sure it's kind of evenly saturated, right? You know, it has to kind of look like it's... You know, it doesn't, you don't want it to look... But I know it's going to take time because then it would be me. Like, the first time I do it, I'll probably be mad at myself because it's not going to be like I want it. I'm going to want it to look like I've been dying yarn for 30 years for the first time. But um, that'll be me. I don't know why. But I would love to try to dye some yarn, though. I don't know what kind of colors I would pick. That would be my issue, too, because I'm I'm horrible on picking colors. But I would love to just try it one, just one time. I mean, one time. Oops, sorry, honey. Sorry about that. I was accidentally stepping to record. Sorry. Mm. Okay, you said Nick Craig is coming and the yarn is white with packets of cool. What? Get out of here. You said Nick Craig is coming and the yarn is white with packets of Kool Aid to dye your own. I'm, pack I'm paying them. To send me yarn that is already what? So are you saying that they have packets of Kool-Aid in them and then you can dye it yourself? I mean it's an option that you can do it that you can do it yourself, or there's an option that you can get it pre-dyed. Is that what you're saying? Tell me is, is this what you're saying? You're saying that you can have the option to do both, or is it just for this particular month? Because that's what I'm curious and I mean, they're really, and, okay, I need, okay, I'll wait till you answer this one, because you know, I have another question, and I don't want to bombard you with questions. You said, oh, just this month. Oh, I was going to say, seriously, seriously, because like you said, they don't want people touching it. They're like, afraid. they're like, uh, don't want to spread anything, because we are actually hand dyeing it. Okay, because I'm like, I mean, so what makes them say Kool-Aid, though? I was like, yeah, you dye it. So what about the Kool-Aid? Like why? I mean, Kool-Aid? Because I saw somebody. Who else was out watching it? Somebody was talking about Kool-Aid. And they were talking about like dying arm with Kool-Aid. I'm like, so that really works? I mean, or were they being funny? I mean, not being funny, but I'm just trying to figure out why would it be Kool-Aid like out of all dying things? Is that the best thing to use? I mean, I don't know. I never, like I said, I've never dyed yarn before, so I'm trying to figure out, like, out of all things Kool-Aid, I don't know. 
Because somebody else was, I wish I would have seen who that was. I've been watching so many videos today, guys. And somebody was just saying something about dyeing yarn and Kool-Aid. Is it real Kool-Aid, though? I mean, I ain't talking about real Kool-Aid, though. You said Kool-Aid is the dye. What? That's crazy. Kool-Aid been the dye? Okay, so come on, y'all. Because I remember back in the day, people would say, oh, I'm dying my hair with Kool-Aid. You know, people just color their hair for fun, wacky school days, whatever. Okay, but it. I need, I need, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Please, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a still a newbie, y'all. Y'all know I'm a newbie when it comes to these different yarns and stuff. Are y'all saying... Wow. And it lasts in this yarn forever. Is that what you're saying? Can I, I'm sorry, please. I hope I'm not getting on your nerves. I just, I'm really new to this. I really am. So y'all, are y'all saying like, okay, if I dye, if I get this cotton yarn or whatever yarn they send, I dye it with Kool-Aid and then it's going to last forever in this yarn. Or does it rinse out? That's, that's what, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, okay. Well, I did, I was watching somebody else's video today. I don't know who it was, guys. You know, I've been watching so many videos. It was somebody in the crew, um, and they were just talking about something about Kool-Aid, and I was like, huh? And I was kind of in and out a little bit because I was napping, and I was catching people's videos, but I don't know who it was, and they were talking about some Kool-Aid, and I'm like, huh? I know, I thought they were kind of being funny. I thought it was like a little joke a little bit. I really, I promise I didn't think, I, I did not know they were talking about Kool-Aid. I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I did not know, because I don't know if it, it seems like it would be like, it would be temporary. That's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't seem like it would last forever, but maybe it does. Yeah, exactly. That's how you go to show you Kool-Aid is not good for you. Exactly. Wow. You can dye yarn with it in a stain. I never even knew. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't know it was staying yarn. I know how people used to dye it. Like some of the kids in my school when I was like in elementary and middle school, <laughs> we have like the wacky hair days and they would color their hair with, they would color their hair with um Kool-Aid. I'm like, really? Is this Kool-Aid? I guess wow. if it's staying if it's staying your hair pretty good, I guess it's staying yarn. Yeah, but I was just thinking that it would rinse out. That's what I was trying to figure out. Because I think the kids used to rinse their hair out. They didn't it didn't last in the hair. It wasn't permanent. But I guess yarn and hair is different anyways, because hair actually grows and the color grows out, whatever else. But that's see, that's what I love. Every time I get on these lives, I learn something new every single time. And like I love it. Hmm. <laughs> I love it, y'all. I'm telling you, I love getting on here. Y'all teach me so much. Y'all teach me so much. I love it. Oh, yes. And Charlie, I didn't even get to ask you. I know you're busy. I know you're busy. But every time you get done, I mean, every time you kind of check in for a second. Um, did, did you, When I asked you, remember I said, are you keeping your hair like this or are you going to change it up? Are you still going to keep your hair like this or are you changing it up? Because I, I didn't get to ask you. Okay, you say you get, I get two boxes from Nick Ray. I get the regular one and the Malabrigo. Oh, look at you. Spoiled. Spoiled. I never even seen anybody get two boxes. Look at you. You're the, you're the special one out of the group. I always see everybody get one box. I didn't know you could get two. But I don't know. You know I don't know a lot about it. I'm, I'll, I'm eventually join the train. I will. Because I, I want something different. I like the way, and I like the way it looks. I do. I'm trying to move, y'all. I promise I'm trying to get this thing done. And, of course, as it, as it increases, it takes longer to get past a row, like we all know. Like doing that grading square. When you're in the beginning stages, it's so easy to get past that first or three, so many rows. And then once that green square gets so big, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm just going to go across. I'm not even going to go. I told you I'd do it. You want to do it for me? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the best crochet in the I know room. you're trying to do, do some stuff in the kitchen, so I don't want to bother you. Okay, so where's out? I go back to red. Oh, okay. You going back to red? <laughs> I was born with a crochet needle in my in my in my mouth. Well, it was actually called a hook, honey. Mine was a needle. It was born in my mouth. Okay. And he said they have four. You can get. Oh my goodness! Or maybe five. What? Wow! Because I always see like every time I see somebody reading, they have like little books or whatever, and they have the colors and the different shades. 
I was I, so those are probably like the different boxes or colors you can pick. I thought you can pick one out of those, so you can pick how many you want. Mm. All right, look at you. Lord knows all. Look at Lord, you know everything. Lord's like, oh yeah. Are you so Lord? Are you an affiliate with them, or are you just you don't know, get into the affiliate stuff, or are you affiliate with anyone? I know a lot of people are doing affiliates. I was talking to Rosalie, and I mean she's affiliates with like eighteen people. <laughs> Rosalie is like, yeah, I'm affiliated with Cricket. I'm an affiliate with, um, she's affiliated with so many people. I know I'm getting done because the skein is almost done. And then I have to jump into the next skein and then keep on going a little bit and then I'll be done. Maybe start to get tired, baby, though. Yeah, I'm gonna get it done. It's still what's happening? Three. Yeah, I'm gonna get it done. I know. I'm just. Yeah, I got it, man. I know you got it, baby. I'll just. You said no. They have the regular knit crate. Then you, then they have sock crate. Oh, get out of here! Look at you. You know everything. OBW say hey. Well, hello. Wow. So they have all these different crates. Yeah, I did see the sock crate. So far, like the sock yarns and stuff. I don't know who had that. One of somebody I was following was had the sock crate. I did see that because that was the first time I ever no noticed it. So it's regular knit crate. Does it? You said hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. Because that's what I was kind of wondering. Oops, sorry. Okay, man. I need to move this out the way. You know? Yeah, just throw it on the side. Thank you. I'm trying to get this thing now. I'm trying to knock it out of here. I'm going to get it done. Hey, can you make me one after your jersey? I got to hold it because I got to crochet loose. I got to hold it away from me because if I hold it too close, it'll be too tight. You see, I'm holding it away from myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's so no, weird. You're uncomfortable. I am kind of uncomfortable. That's how I do it. If not, it'll be super tight. You said from the... The other is Miss Crosby Travels Crate. Oh, they all have a different yarn. Malabrigo and Crosby. Ones are quarterly, so I get four years. Mm, okay. It's not like treating yourself. And so, is every box a different weight yarn? That's what I was kind of wondering, too. I was wondering, are they different, like, weights? Because, like, I know the sock, the sock crate would probably be sock yarn, right? But do they have, like, size, like, the, you know, the worsted weights? Are they, you know... Cause that's what I'm kind of wondering. I do a lot of worsted weights, but I will, I would dabble in, I would dabble in DKs and you know, sports or whatever else. However they sell it in too. I'm just kind of wondering how they, you know, do it. And what kind of yarn do you like best as well? Do you kind of like that? Um, what size yarn do you prefer? Okay, see, so these are sub boxes I do. Crochet Surprise. Hmm, did I hear about that before? Probably feels like I heard of Crochet Surprise. DGY, yes, I've heard of them. Southern Skein Sock. Southern Skein Not Sock. Hmm, Knit Crate Regular and Knit Crate. Wow, so you're teaching me some new stuff. Because that's what I want to get into. I want to get into, like, exploring some different things and, you know, not always just getting the same thing I get. I want to, like, step my game up a little bit with some premium yarns and, you know, because you can see, you said varies. Okay, over there you said varies. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, it just depends. Like I said, for me, same way. I like to try different things depending on what I'm working on. I know certain things, like if you're knitting, knitting um, looks good in certain yarns too, compared to crocheting with it. So I think that is it. I like them all. Really have no preference. Oh, okay. Yeah, me, I don't care either. I'm really trying to expand my horizon and all that stuff. Because I don't, I've always been, like I said, the worst of weight, you know, regular yarn, acrylic, 
bricks and all that. Now I'm like, I want to do some bamboo and, you know, all kinds of stuff. I was gifted some silk yarn. And I want to I wanna use the silk yarn, too. I'm like, what do I do with it? I don't know. I'd probably share it probably one of my other lives when I go get it out. Because one of y'all will probably be able to help me figure out something to make with it. I don't know what I would do. It's like two nice um, hanks. I'm not even sure how many yards are in each hank either. I'm not sure if it's 200 yards in each hank, in each hank or not. I don't know. But I don't know if I probably... It, it looks kind of like I would make like a like a triangle scarf or something or, you know, something with it. It's nothing like I would make. I don't think it's going to be nothing where I can make something huge with it. So I'm thinking probably like a little triangle scarf, something to wear around the neck a little bit. So I used to do yarn crush, really, but I'm taking a break from the, oh, really? Look at you. You know about all the different subscriptions and stuff. May I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Where's the Hank? Um, you know, like a Hank is like, um, you know, they got the skeins. I mean, this is like a cake right here. Yeah. Skein is like a regular, and a hank is kind of like where it's twisted. Uh, I don't get, I don't really get any of those. Oh, I got like okay. a couple like from Lime on the Yeah, you know, you, if you look mm -hmm. it up, it'll I'm show you like the hand dye like yarn. Yeah. Hand dye yarn usually after I guess they probably dyed and everything and straighten it all out. They kind of like do it like this and yeah. they twist it a little bit. Because mm -hmm. I was wondering what, what was the, you know, I didn't know what it was called, but yeah. I always called it every one of the skein to me. Mm -hmm. And it's just the way they wind them up. They call, they're called a certain, they're called different things. Mm -hmm. That's always wonder when I see Hanks, it's hard for me to know exactly what um it's hard for me to know um like how many yards are on them. Every time I see somebody like they have Hanks of yarn, I remember OVW she went over to Stitches West. It's like a little hair show, but it's not a hair show, but it's a yarn show. Or you know, basically a lot of it's basically a yarn show, but they have like different, you yeah. know, accessories and whatnot. But anyways, when she went and she showed everybody hers, and I was like, first, I was like, how many yards is that? I was like, my first answer. And it was a nice amount of yards. She's like, oh, it's pretty nice. You know, I forgot what it was. I think it was like maybe 250. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it, I was I was kind of like wondering, because I'm like, you know, for the price, like, is it a nice amount or not? You know, yeah. is it worth it? But it was worth it, though. You said Christy from T-Dottles finds lots of different ones. Does she? Mm. Yeah, oh, so she's your, is she your enabler, huh? You're just sitting there minding your own business. Then you go hang out with Christy. And then guess what happens? That stash gets bigger. The warehouse gets bigger. So that's why you have to shop out of your warehouse now, right? Because <laughs> you have to like, I oh, am. Yeah. You got you have too much. He said varies depending on upon the size of the yarn. Okay, yeah. Okay. He said, same here. I used to I used to do yarn crush. They have now joined in with Oh, really? They join in with Nick right now? Oh, okay. I'm like, what's that noise? There's some dogs outside. Wow. So they just kind of like blend together, working together. Oh, I still got some coffee. I forgot about the coffee here. What did you guys have for dinner? I know that's a question I used to ask every night. No, no, you always ask that. And they start getting me hungry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I apologize. I was trying not to think about food. Look, there you go. So Dana's spinning over here. Did we lose her or is it just me? <laughs> You said Dana's spinning over here? What are you saying? Did we lose her? Oh, you talking about like buffering or something? Oh, goodness. I hope it's not. I'll be excused now. I got to stop messing up. Here? I'm good? Is everybody here? Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. There it goes, guys, so far. Kind of mad, like I said. It started off too small, I think. It started off a little too tight. But good thing I do have two skeins. I need two skeins anyways, because I gotta use like a skein and a half or so. I think it's gonna be nice though. I think it's gonna be. Sorry, guys. I'm hearing all kinds of noises outside. It's too early in the morning to hear noises. That's the thing about living in the urban, or should I say the city area. Mm. 
Okay, let me see. So this is what it looks like so far, guys. This is looking pretty good. Let me see how many rows I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I got eight more rows to go, guys. And I probably have to do more. Oh. Oh, Debbie said she has some Chipotle. Really? What, is, what do you usually get from uh, Chipotle? I don't know that. My daughter loves Chipotle. Let's go out and go up and say, so might as well rip it off. Why does it look like it's a... Is that the back? I hope I'm not doing anything wrong. No, I don't think it's good. Okay. Yeah, so this is what it's going to be like. Um, Like I said, I have to do... I'm sorry. I have to do so many. I have to do like, what, eight more rows? I might have to do a few more rows in the eight. I might just do my hook. Oh, my goodness. That's exactly what I need. Every time I start getting done with stuff, I lose my hook. It never fails. Come on. Come on. So I just see my really? I don't know what this is. Oh, up under you. Hmm. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Sasha. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's this um, where's it at? I wish I could find the other skin. I don't know. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, it's this Mandela color. It's called Mandela Ombre by Lion Brand. It kind of reminds me of blue jeans a little bit. Oh, Keto Bowl. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. So you're getting back all the way ketoed up? Or did you ever leave keto? Did you ever leave or you kind of have a little off days, like little days where you take a break or no? I don't know. Some people do take breaks on the ketos or, I mean, you know. I know keto would be very, I would have to be very disciplined on it. I mean, you know, it would be hard. Some slow and transiting back. Okay. Yeah. So when you do your keto, does usually the whole family do the keto as well? Oh, turkey pot pie. That sounds good too. I've been having I've been having craving something kind of light a little bit. I just told my husband the other day, I'm like, I kinda want something light. And that's how it is for me in summertime. When or summer or when the weather's hot, like I just want something light. But we, we do a lot of grilling out though when the summer comes. My husband grills all throughout the year, but when summer comes, it seems like every day we got something on the grill. It could be a grilled meatloaf. I remember the first time we ever had grilled meatloaf, it was amazing. My husband like smoked it on the grill. It was just, it was smoked beautifully, y'all. It really was like, he's putting so much stuff on the grill. He's putting like chuck roast on the grill. I mean, he has put so much stuff on there. He's made like all these different, he's put steak on the grill. And sliced it up and made fajitas with it. And so that meat is like all smoky and good. And you put it on your tortilla and just. Okay. Yeah, I know you probably, OVW, you couldn't eat those type of tortillas. You probably have to eat a different flour tortilla. But that was really, really good. Oh, you said left. Yes, I left when I had an Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's when now it's time to just get on back on there. And so how are you pretty much healed pretty much well? How are you doing with the healing process? Because it's kind of like you just snap, you know, it was like, you know, I think you had like maybe one day of slurring or something. I think it was like one day, well, that I knew of, I should say, because um, it really wasn't too much. I think you did like, what was it, a tutorial or you were showing something? You might have been showing some domino. You might have been doing something. I don't know if it was either. I think it was like a story. I don't think it was a full video. I think it was like a story. You were talking about something and I heard like a little bit of slurring there. But other than that, it was like you just, like it was nothing. Nothing ever happened. I always suggest bro real and I buy buttercup dog does pizza. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I mean y'all doing it together. That's a blessing, you know? 
make it so much easier to keep it going. Oh, keto, what is it called? Is it like ketogenic or something like that? It's uh, like a diet. I mean, well, if you live in a lifestyle, keto is a lifestyle, but um, it's basically, I don't know. I don't know, OVW, if you want to kind of explain a little bit more because I could try to, but I, I probably would mess it all the way up because I really don't know. <laughs> I know there's certain things you can't eat, but I don't know, you know. I don't really know all the um, all the details. Let me say that, because I really don't know. But I just know there's there are certain things you don't eat. Pardon me, if, I don't know, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. I want to say sugars. I want to say things that break down in sugars, like breads. I don't know, but I can't exactly remember. Like carbs, I want to say is that it? But I can't remember. I I can't because I've never done done it before. I just know a lot of people who have done it. But I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly what it is. It's coming out good though. I'm trying to whip it up. I think I think I can do it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make it, guys. And look, everybody's going to sleep. Look, I know the numbers are getting low. I know everybody hung out with me, guys. Everybody's hanging out, and some people are still. Some people are sleeping though. I know a couple of people were like, I'm just going to, as long as you stay on, and hey, just stay on while you're on. Because I got to check my hours. I don't even know how many hours I have yet, y'all. Because everybody's been getting their hours. Like, uh, Laura, she was like, I got my hours already. Laura almost has 10,000 watch hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like certain fruit restrictions. Okay, you say healing good. I'm just going through the first phase. I have two more phases. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, certain food restrictions. Charlie, I hope you can hear me. Hope it wasn't that much of a lag. But yeah, I guess you can eat. I don't have. I wish I had my. Okay, my husband's using his phone for something else. But I know it's. I, I don't know if OVW is gonna get this or not. If she's still here or she's gonna be an answer. But I know it's like I know for a fact. I think it's for a fact. <laughs> um, carbs are basically not in it. So a lot of people who don't eat carbs, they will make their own types of like bread. It'll. It won't be like. You know, it'll be made with something, you know? Okay, there you go. It's a lifestyle. No carbs. There you go. No carbs, no sugar, moderate protein, high in fat meals. There you go. There you go. Because that's why I said, like, it, it depends on, like, certain people will say things are diets. But if you're going to live a lifestyle of it, it's a lifestyle. That's what I was, that's what I usually say. Like, I don't want to do a diet. I want to live my, I want to just have a lifestyle of something so that way I can um, keep doing it. Because if it's a diet for me. I'll, I'll just break it and all that stuff. But if it's a lifestyle, then I'm like, oh, okay. It was something I can keep I can keep going with. You know, I have to do something. I have to do lifestyle changes. It's something I can do. Because if it's something, if I'm cutting everything out, like if I'm, I, I don't think I can do keto because I do enjoy a sweet. I do enjoy, even if it's homemade, even if it's the uh, healthy of sweets. Um... And I think I would just like find myself sneaking out at a wedding or something. Somebody got cookies and cake at the wedding. I'd be over in the corner just sucking down snacks. And my husband would be like, babe, what are you doing? And I got chocolate all over my face. And he's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, nothing, honey. I was just talking to the wedding party. He's like, babe, what's that on your face? I was like, oh, nothing, honey. Just probably something. I, I probably a little dirt. I was probably picking in the ground and doing some planning. So, yeah, I, I couldn't do it. Because I did keto for six months. It was hard. Was it time? Ooh. You said to prep everything so I can, yeah, then that's good. If you can prep it, there you go. That's how I like to do things. If you can prep it, it's hard when you got those days where you've been doing stuff all day long and you didn't get to prep it, and then you see that McDonald's or you see that Kentucky Fried or you see something that's not right, you know, or you see that Dunkin' Donuts or you see that, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, just being, <laughs> I'm just being silly. Don't pay attention to me, y'all, but I know, like, but you got to be, but, but anything that you're doing, you just got to be ready, though. It's a mental thing, too, as well as a physical. You got to be ready for it. You can't just jump into something you're not ready. You're like, oh, I'm going to do it because everybody else is doing it. You got to prepare yourself mentally. Tell yourself, okay, I'm going to take this month to prepare myself. I'm going to write down some meals that I'm going to try. I'm going to get some research from my friends and family. I'm going to get some people, accountability partner, to say, hey, are you eating right? We're going to check in with each other. I'm going to probably spend my time that I would usually be eating snacks. I'm going to fill that time in with some activities. Um, you know, whatever else that you're going to spend at least a month. I, I probably would spend a month of mental planning and preparing, prepper, preparing, and then jump into the whole everything else, you know? 
Oh, see, now that's good. Now, there you go. Okay, so yes, no bread, rice, pastas, milks, sugars, only fruit, only berries, strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. That reminds me of um, uh, coming to America. He said, what's that chemical they put in your head? He said, there's no chemical in here, only fruits and berries. Okay, but anyways, mm, you said I have sweet. Okay, yeah, that ice cream, I would like to do some keto ice cream. That sounds good. You said, I make my own cakes. Mm. Ice creams, cookies, and candies. Oh. <laughs> Keto ice cream, me and Tammy looked at it the other day. A pint cost eight dollars. Mm, yes, that's why Obadiah said she make her own. Cause if you go buy a pint of it for eight dollars, yeah, you got you got to make it your own. I've always been a fan of making my own stuff. Homemade is always the best, anyways. And I bet the homemade keto is probably better than a store bought keto too. I bet. I bet it's off the chain. And you said, uh, yeah, it's mentally, yeah, it's mentally. That's what anything that you're doing. Oh, you said, okay, you said, I plan to do more in the kitchen with OVW. Ooh, that'd be real good. Good night, Barbara. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. I know it's it's late, Barbara. I know. I know it's late. I don't even know what I mean. I'm just, I'm just hanging out on the live just sitting here trying to get this thing done because when I get off of here, I'm probably going to be putting trying to put this down, so I need to work hard. <laughs> I'm trying to get it done. But yeah, that mental, like, that's like you say with any, any type of healthy living or any change that you're doing. It don't even have to be like, you know, anytime when you're ready to make changes, you got to really be prepared mentally. And it, it's just not going to be just you. It's going to have to be your whole atmosphere. Everything's going to have to take effect, you know? Because if you want to do ketos or you want to eat healthy, everybody around you is going to have to respect that, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, don't come around me with all my cookies and cakes and, and stuff. I don't care. Oh, I forgot. People will do that. You say you can't eat sweets and certain things. Uh, and people are bringing around you purposely all of a sudden. Oh, uh, I brought you some of this. What? Don't bring me none of that. <laughs> you ain't never brought me a meal. Now you know I don't eat certain things. You ready to bring it? Come on now. I forgot. I sure did forget. You sure did tell me that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like you said, you got to make sure, hey, don't disrespect me. It's like, it's just like if you if somebody smokes and you don't smoke and they come and smoke around you. Hey, I don't eat that. Don't bring it around me. <laughs> But until you get fully disciplined. Now, when you get fully disciplined, people can bring that stuff around you. It don't affect you at all um, so far as food. I still don't want you to bring no smoke around me if I don't smoke. But um, if food, certain foods, if you got to eat it, you got to eat it. I was making a joke the other day. My mom, she doesn't eat rice because it reminds her of maggots. She said it reminds her of maggots. And um, she's like, oh, no, I can't eat that. And I was like, really? <laughs> And she eats this one cereal called Golden Puffs, and she said it looks like roaches to her. And she calls them roach cereal, bug cereal, and it's really super hilarious. So I said, oh, mom, you can eat roaches, but you can't eat maggots. Just being funny. Because I'm like, seriously, mom, like, she got her, she, my mom eats really funny. Like, if she eating a chicken wing, she does not eat the veins in the chicken, so she had to break all the veins out. And Like, I didn't even, like, me just eating, I don't really look at veins and stuff. Oh, see, now y'all got me feeling really sick now. I don't think, look up, think about that. I just eat it and, be, and it says it. My mom's like, oh, those are veins. You can't eat that. You can't eat that. I'm like, mom, <laughs> you done tore up the whole chicken. We done spent all this money on these chicken wings. And now you over here breaking it up. You're barely eating it. <laughs> so hilarious. It's so hilarious. It is. I hope I get done with this soon, though. But for anybody who, do y'all feel, I got to, I know Charlie's working and stuff, so. OBW's. A night out. But I know everybody not to say goodnight anyways. I always say that to people. I was like, yeah, you know, if y'all gotta go, don't worry. I always tell people that. <laughs> like, I know people know this. He said with keto, you also have to combine it with intermittent oh, intermittent fasting. Oh, as we keto, as we know, it's Christmas fasting is essential. Oh, as Christians, yes, fasting is. Yes, Christians, yeah, fasting is essential. So that's really good, then. That's really good, yeah. Yes, 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 it is. Fasting is good. Mm-hmm. Yes. You are right. That's good. No, I like that. It, it really teaches you discipline. It's really, a t it teaches some really good discipline. I like that. Mm-hmm. It teaches some discipline, so you just basically learn to discipline yourself and you know, it is good. It's good. Discipline yourself to eat right, eat healthy. And then a lot of times, I know a lot of people like, 
even with Kristen, our friend Kristen, she does, when she does her vegan, you know, she doesn't, she's not a full vegan, but she does eat vegan dishes. So she has really, you know, like you said, even with keto, when you begin to do lifestyle changes and you change your food and lifestyle eating for the better, you begin to get educated um, of what you used to eat. And you begin to know like, ooh, this was not what I should have been eating. And you begin to learn. And that, and that also helps you not to go back. Yeah, she does. She has some really great meals. So when you go into that, um, when you go into like, oh, I'm about to stop eating meat or I'm done eating certain dishes. And then you're like, hmm, let me look into it. You start getting educated and you're like, oh, I'm glad I did quit that. And it helps you. It really does. It helps you to stop because you get educated on what you don't like and what, you know, what's not good for you. So that's another thing. Because when you're eating it, you don't think about looking it up. You don't think about, oh, I wonder if this is good for me. No, you're not thinking about if it's good for you because it tastes good to you. And as we all know, if it tastes, sometimes things that are good to us are not always good for us. And that's not just eating food, you know. So I learned that a lot. And so when you're, when, you know, when you get out of certain situations, either it be food, relationship, this, that, you begin to do research. <laughs> and you begin to get, you know, you begin to learn. How to stay on that same track that you're on. So that's so good. Is it a little warm in here? Yeah, it is. It is. Because we had to turn that heat off. I mean, we turned the air off. And um, because it was getting chilly. And now it's probably going to start building back up again because it's getting early morning. Joseph! So it's going to probably... Can you come here, son? It's going to start getting warm again. By the time we wake up for church, it's going to be getting warm. Like you better be. I know you woke up. Yeah, I want to try by Kristen's meal. I want to try that um, that stew. What is it? The um, the jackfruit stew. Is it jackfruit? It was like a little jackfruit dish. I want to try that jackfruit. And just Kristen is such a sweetheart. I'm so glad she introduced me to you, Tasha. Seriously, because I mean, she did her shout out video. She was like, oh yeah. And she introduced me to you and Spice and Tootsie. And I mean, I'm telling you, I was like, wow. It's so many people. You know, it's hard to really even know everybody in the world, of course. We don't know everybody. But when you, you know, know somebody else and they can introduce you to somebody else, it's so sweet. I love it. I love it. And then knowing your personality, you have a really sweet personality. But it's a good thing because you know people... There's good people that you love, you turn it on 75. and you can trust them. You know they will not bring you around people that are no good. You know, saying. you know where you can go. Like, oh, I'll, it's just like going to somebody's house. You don't go to certain people's houses that you know they keep drama going on or they keep mess going on because you know that's what they're they're about. But you know, if you go to certain people's houses that keep the fun going or keep positivity going, you know. Um, you know, keep some type of education going or, you know, family settings, you know, it's good for kids to be around. If you have kids, you want to go somewhere where there are kids and people respect kids and, you know, all that type of stuff. So it's the same thing as even with our social medias and stuff. You know, if I can, I trust Christian's word, I'm Christian, Christian's word. I know when she says a person's a good person, I know I can believe in what she says because she is a, she has a very true sweetheart. You know, she's not going, you can go to her. You can go hang out with her and talk to her. And guess what? She's going to be sweet, open-hearted. You know, if you, you need help with certain things, guess what happened? She's going to actually talk to you about it. She's not going to be like, oh, you know, even if you ask her, oh, how did you do this? She's not one of those people that say, oh, I don't, uh, well, I can't remember. Uh, I had to think about it. No, she's going to tell you. This is how I did it. This is what I used. You can get it right here. <laughs> I mean, she she's open-hearted and that's how you always can continue to stay prosperous and blessed when you always give back you don't be stingy and all holding up stuff and acting so rude like when you able to like give out some people and show love you always gonna give it back you always gonna, it's just how it is it says give and it shall be given good measures that's how it is and that's it that's how it works yeah you said she is so sweet i know YouTube makes you meet so many people, right, Charlie? I know, Charlie. Man, I mean, you meet so many people. Like I said, you find out who you want to meet, who you want to hang out with, 
Who are you going to watch, you know? I don't know. Exactly. It's like, one, like, what does it matter? It's so many people in this world. Like, what does it matter? Like, oh, yeah, how did you, what kind of hair did you get? Like, oh, yeah, I can't even remember where I got this hair at. This is so old. I just, like, come on. I need, you know, or whatever. I just draw, I just draw, for instance. I just draw, for instance. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I don't care. I, I like to share. I love it. I love sharing. I'm going to be honest. Because I like to, you know, people are going to remember that. And you always heard it saying, y'all hear that saying? When it says, um, people forget, like, over the years, you know, people will forget, um, how, what you said to them. People will forget, like, it's a, it's a couple little things. People forget what you said. People will forget something else. I can't remember. It's a couple of different things. They said, well, people will never forget how you made them feel. And I'm like, wow, I definitely believe in that because, like, you know, if you had a rumor or something going about somebody years ago or something or somebody said something, whatever, 9 out of 10, when you get older, unless it was really, really, you know, hurtful and really horrible, you know, sometimes people forget certain things, you know, but you will never forget that first impression, how you got when you see this person. You're like, oh, man, I love such and such. Every time I see her, she welcomes me in. She always smiling. She always telling me something good. Like, people don't forget that. You know, but people do, people remember when you meet somebody and they always got a nasty look or they send something rude or they trying to put you down. People will definitely remember that. People don't forget it. They don't. You know, I've been in situations like that. I go somewhere just to, you know, introduce myself, say hello. And, you know, I know people have those days, though, so I can't really just, you know, put people down. But, you know, I'm a big person. I'm a big believer on that first impression, you know. You know, I, I really am. I'm a big believer on, you know, the first time I meet somebody trying to, you know, sh you know, be sweet. He, he turned down? Yeah, oh, where's the fan at? Why? Where's the fan? I don't know. He probably got upstairs. So oh, up so he circulated up there a little bit? Because it, it's probably really hot up there. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. I didn't know he's turning off the gnome, so that's why I didn't think about saying turn the air on. Yeah, remember you just doing some prep work, so I didn't know you were going to have anything on. Charlie, what time you get off? You get off at 7? I don't know what time Charlie gets off. Look, I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to be crocheting your whole shift, Charlie. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to get done, y'all. I would have probably been done quicker if I would have been using this hook from the whole time, but it's all good. It's all good. I learned my lesson. Because I, I always talk about clover hooks, and I always make it seem like they are too small compared to boy and stuff. So I try to say, oh, you know, I try to, I try to prove, I try to prove myself wrong. And you did right. and I was right. So there I go. Roughly, oh, okay, roughly, okay. <laughs> Charlie, am I gonna beat you, or are you gonna beat me, <laughs> Charlie? Charlie, like I gotta get off this phone. You gonna make, you gonna waste some of my battery? I know, Charlie. Oh, fire slash. Oh my goodness, Charlie, you gonna beat me, Charlie? <laughs> what time is it, babe? Three forty nine. Oh my goodness, I gotta get this thing done. You got nice and well done since three. Though. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Cause I had to switch that hook. I should have did that from the beginning. I love you. I still love you, Clover. There's just certain things I can't use you on. Sometimes I gotta go back to the boy. Oh, you said I drive and stand. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying. Come on. Let me see how many rows I got. I wanna look and see how many rows I got, but I don't wanna stop the count. It's like I need to go. I'm like on this little roll right now. I'm on a roll. I don't know. I gotta move, y'all. I gotta get this one skein done. Then I can feel special because I know once I get this one skein done, how many? How many? I gotta see how many. Three forty-four. When you get a chance, babe. Okay, when you get done with that, can you by chance look up? What's that yarn I use? Super Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. 
Hook, hook faster, hello. I know, Charlie. I'm trying. I'm going, Charlie. I'm going. I'm going, Charlie. I wish I could see what the um, how many rows I got, but I'm not gonna look yet, cause then I'm gonna have to stop and count. So I'm gonna go. Let me just go, because I, I'm trying to do a live where I can talk to y'all a little bit too, cause like you know, especially if y'all doing something too, it's like y'all can't communicate. It's hard for y'all to type and y'all everybody working. But it's hard. I want to, you know, I'm working too. So I was like, <laughs> what do we do? We're trying to keep the whole, we're trying to keep it going. I know y'all understand. Y'all very, really sweet and kind hearted and loving. So I appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah. What's that right there? What's that thing? That little oh, thing? Yeah. Oh, a little tangle. Yeah, this is some really good quality yarn. I've been wanting to use this yarn, y'all. I had this yarn for so long and never got to use it. I'm like, let me use this up. And my husband ended up getting a, sh a nice shirt. We ended up going doing some shopping for him for his birthday. He got me a nice shirt. Oh, thank you. You keep me coming too. I appreciate you, Charlie. You know I do. Hey Google, show me Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Ombre yarn. Thank you. I'm trying to see how much it. Cause I know when it comes to that Super Saver yarn, that red uh, the Ombre yarn, y'all from Lion, from Red Heart. I usually use a whole one of those. And I'm just trying to see how many yards is in that, so I can know. How much more of the second skein I have to use? And I can't remember how many is in there. I know it got to be more than 398. Three, or 394? I think a regular Red Heart Super Saver is like 390 something. 394, I want to say, I think. So I'm not sure though. I got to see. I'm going, Charlie. I'm going. I'm hooking. I'm hooking. Babe, Charlie was gonna, you know what's there? Charlie was gonna try to do a YouTube tutorial with this. Cause if you look on the box, it make it seem like it stands up perfectly. But like Charlie, you should do a review on this thing. And say, you know what? I bought this uh portable hands-free thing. Looking at the video, it says that it stands up perfectly. I tried to do a tutorial and it was shaky. That's a good review. I'm gonna try to see how it goes when I'm walking around the stores and stuff. Hopefully it'll do right. They didn't even have a paper or anything in it, so I was like basically self-explanatory. I mean, I guess it really wasn't that hard to understand, but I still kind of wanted. <laughs> I still wanted 482 a little. Four eighty-two yards. Four eighty-two. Yeah. Hmm. Can you check and see how much is the shawl and the ball has in it? I think different ones got different amounts in them. Really. Hmm. So. Yeah, that's four eighty-two. I'm saying 42 is the most of them. Oh, you see, you love Ombre? Yes, I do too. I love it. Yeah, it's 42. That's 42? Okay, that's what I used, basically use then. So this is 344. So that'd be 444, 100 more yards. So I basically need 140 more yards of this next game. Yeah. 144 more yards. I hope I'm doing it right, because sometimes I do that. Okay, I'm doing this good. Okay, I still got my points. I was making sure, making sure I still have my points, because um, it was going to be crazy if I didn't. It does that. Look, every time I cover this up, it makes it orange, and then I, I yeah, it does that every time. I don't know why. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going. I'm going. So, I'm not going to finish up this game. That's the only way I'm going to know I'm almost done when this game is going. So I gotta get this one done. Because I'm still here. I have two more sets of earrings. Oh, really? Okay. All right. I'm still working on this. Uh, what's it called? Working on this. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it done. Goodness. Come on, Poncho. You know you can get done. <laughs> you like I just said that? Come on, Poncho. You know you can get done. Come on. You know you should have been done. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I should have had it done earlier, though. Okay, you better get more done anyways. Like, when 
you get started to relax and watch a little TV, you'll get more done, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Do a little four piece and be done. Yeah. The four hour. Okay. That way I'll be on here forever. That was pretty good. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, my goodness. I just don't want to, I just don't want to get, don't let me relax, then. Huh? <laughs> don't let me relax. That is it time or no? Yeah, that's it. Well, maybe it's four, it's really down now. But. Oh, it's on. Yeah. What happened, Charlie? Some good chili. Oh, he made some chili? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so we got some chili. That sounds good. Eat a little chili. Mm -hmm. You snack on that tomorrow while we wait on the other stuff to get done. Okay. You made a lot of it or no? What am I eating? No, wait, you said two deer? What? Oh, my goodness. Come on. Are you serious? Oh, Charlie. Whatever. She's driving and there's uh, trucks and stuff. I mean, there's deers. In the middle of the highway. Uh, next time I'm gonna start breaking it down into one can and everything else. We make a small thing. Mm -hmm. Breaks work. Oh, okay, yep, you're right. You got some good breaks, so you don't gotta worry about it. Excuse me. I mean, are they just like walking? Did they just cross or no? Hopefully they just crossed. Is that still going or was that sound? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like simmering. Oh, right. I got that big lid on there instead of a small one. So the water just right around now. I'm loving this. It's coming out good now. I gotta make sure I get a picture. I've still been posting. Did I find you on Instagram also, Charlie? I think I found you on Instagram, I think. I know you can't type. Don't worry about typing or nothing. Just do what you gotta do, but I was just saying. I was just saying to myself, I think I found you. But yeah, um... Yeah, I've been posting a little bit of my outfits I made, the purple sets I made, little by little. And everybody went crazy over my husband's set, my husband's outfit. I'm like, wow. Every time I post my husband, though, they go crazy on there. <laughs> he always gets so many likes and comments, man. Which is a good thing, though, I'm just saying. You're popular. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you are. I'm kidding. But everybody's like to see that because it's like, you know. A lot of people don't uh, see, a lot of people wear, um, okay, I found you, okay, cool. Oh, and they just standing in there, so I deliver bundles of newspapers to the businesses. Yeah, so. You know what I was about to say? Mm-hmm. Oh, is that baby? Can I use the phone? Mmm. <laughs> He's at business. I need a coffee for your back. Okay. Mm, get a pit stop real quick. Get your little coffee in. <laughs> mm, Charlie be getting that stuff done. She be up early making, working on hours. She's over on the East Coast. She over, Charlie's over there with uh with Jess. She in Pennsylvania over there with Jess. <clears throat> yeah, this looks nice. Look how it looks in that. I'm gonna go to Cali with OVW. No, I wanna go there. Oh, look at that. I wanna go there too. That's looking crazy. Yeah, that's gonna be nice in pictures. That's gonna be really nice in pictures. I can't wait. Nice, nice, nice. What kind of shoes am I wearing? This the black ones. Silver. Oh, silver. Oh, yeah. What kind of silver? You got that box over there? You gonna put these back in there?
I'm looking at a hairpin. Oh my goodness. We only got about 15 minutes. Yeah. So closing Water. down. Stop now. I see you. Where are you going to stop now? Which one? <clears throat> okay, I finish your routine. Don't you can't let me rest. I'm gonna finish. Oh, he's over there. He said yes. Come to Cali. Yeah. I wonder what the weather is like in Cali right now. It's probably nice. It's always pretty much what nice. What part there. of California is over there? Uh, Northern Cali, but I'm not sure what the city is. But... Oh. I uh, know it's northern, northern Cali. Yeah, I'm just loving this. I'm not, it's coming out good. I think, do I got another? Ooh. I do have another one. See, those are going to be some different spring ones I do for the springtime coming up. I have a, a different color of this too. I gave some away for a giveaway too, and I got another stain level, I think. Like a tealish and pinkish, I gotta find it. I gotta get all this giveaway stuff sent off this week in my orders, and I'm done. I can start doing some more advertisements. Since our state is open up now, I can start doing more advertisement, getting more things out there for people to see. Make sure we got a mask and stuff for church. All that good stuff. Mm. Now everybody said they want me to take them to church. I might just do like a small video or something. It says raining now, Northern Cali in the mountains. Oh, so you in the mountains. Okay. You move the mountains. You got lost before with mm -hmm. your power. Before miracles, there mm -hmm. is nothing okay. that's impossible. Mm -hmm. And we're standing here only mm -hmm. because you mm -hmm. made a way. Mm -hmm. Made a way. Okay. You. Made away. Don't know how, but you did it. Made away. Mm. Don't know how, but you did it. Made away. Mm. You move mountains. Okay. You cause wars to fall with your power. Okay. Perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Okay. Made a way. Don't know how, but you made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made away. Okay. You made away. Mm -mm. That's some powerful words on. Them. I don't know how you. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. Like that's crazy. I don't know how, but you did it. Like it make you wonder. Like, well, how did you do that? I don't know how. I mean, you always, move mountains. You call that's your song. Up. So I said, that's what somebody said, y'all gonna join my praise of them? <laughs> y'all gonna join? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What was that? That's OEW. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, my God is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. I'm telling you. I love them. 
Like, you ever think about that? Like, man, I didn't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> how many more minutes we got? Ten minutes. Ten minutes till closing time. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how far I can get. And it's ten minutes. I was like, at least get a couple rows done in ten minutes. I'm getting wider. A million songs, can never think of nothing. I know, you know, a whole bunch of songs, and you never can think of nothing. It's kind of hard to think of a song on the spot. It's kind of easier to think of it, like like right now. It's kind of like a little free time. You can't, you're not really thinking about it. It can just come out, you know, be led by the spirit and the same. But then it's like, you like, I'm gonna sing a song. You're like, I don't know. <laughs> like I don't know what to say. Like a little deer caught in the headlights. I don't know. You back, Charlie? Ten minutes, Charlie. I'm going to be closing up, so. I know, bro. I appreciate you for hanging with me. I'm just letting you know that, just in case you were like, what happened? <clears throat> well, I don't know if you can hear me talking anyways, but. <laughs> I don't know. If, I'm, that ten minutes, guys, it's going to be a total of four hours. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> how I ended up being on here for four hours, y'all, but it just happened. Because I was working on this poncho anyways. Trying to get it done. And I'm just praying when I get off here from talking to y'all, I don't just start slacking. So my husband, I said, when I get off, don't let me relax. Because when I turn this phone off, don't let me throw this wig off. <laughs> throw this poncho off and then just start watching TV and eat a bowl of chili and pass out. And then I go to church, I ain't got nothing to wear. <laughs> I go to church, I ain't got nothing to wear. We wear my hoodie. I'm like, why, why you didn't take the hoodie off, sister? Oh, no work. <laughs> oh, I just stop. I ain't got nothing to wear, y'all. I had to wear my hoodie today. And it's burned up outside. I'm walking around with a hoodie on. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's 10 minutes. Well, nine minutes, guys. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. All right. Come on. You can move. You can move. Come on. You got this. Move. What's up? good? What's on good? Tell me, what can I do? That's it right there. I can't live without you. Wow. I can't live without you. Sing it. Oh, tell me, what can I do? Okay. I can't live without you. Can't live with you. Here's my heart. heart. Come on now. He is my mind. I give you my soul, Lord. I give you my soul, Lord. Come on now. Just take control. Come on now. But I tried and tried. I tried it on my own. Come on, what you find out? But I found it. Come on now. I can make it on my own. <laughs> on my own. I can make it. I can make it on my own, on my own. I can make it. No, oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, I need some more, huh? Oh, my God. Tell me, what can I do? Okay. I can live without you. Can live without you. Yeah, good God. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. Yes. That's it. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's my song. I love that song. Oh. Tasha over there getting her praise on. Yes, yes, yes. I can never think of a song. Like I know. We can never think of a song. Then we just have, like, right now, having little nights, and we just, man, God just be coming in, and then. He gave them songs. Those are some good songs. Good for your key and everything. What is how many minutes we got? How many minutes is that? I can't see. <laughs> 53. Oh. Seven? Seven. Man, I couldn't even think of that, y'all. That was really sad. When I get on these lives and I be on here for so long, um, I lose that's when the deliriousness kicks in. Um, all that stuff. I can't do small math problems. 
Um, I lose, <laughs> I use, I lose a slight ability to read words. <laughs> I stumble over my own words. I do it all, y'all. Y'all don't even know. OBW said, yes, sing it, Joe. I don't know, man. I'm telling y'all, I do the same exact thing. Okay, let me see. Let me just see how many rows I got done all this time, y'all. I just got to count my rows, y'all. Four hours. Let me see. I got to see how much I even accomplished in four hours, y'all. But, of course, remember I was talking, y'all. Come on. Give me a break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Am I counting the right? I'm not even counting the right spot anymore. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 6. Okay, cool. So all I got is four more rows, y'all. So that's cool. Cool, cool. That's cool. It's cool, guys. It's all good. Four more rows, and I'll be done with my poncho. So that's not bad. Depending on the tension of the beginning part of it, I may add another two rows or so. But it shouldn't be no more than two more rows. So it'll be a total of 22 if the 20 is not long enough. Because I like a little long, flowy, drapey type of ordeal. I only have four more rows, so I shouldn't fall asleep, hopefully. <laughs> I shouldn't just fall asleep. And you get on here, you start learning people's uh, night owls and stuff. You're like, well, I got some night owls. I thought, I thought we was, because we, we talk to so many people, and they're like, what do y'all be doing up? <laughs> but that usually be our time, like, if the kids and stuff get sleeping, and after us having a long, busier day, like, that's our little time to kind of, you know, talk a little bit, get caught up, catch a little TV, worship, praise. I mean, we do a little bit of everything, and that's our little time. We make that time for ourselves, so a lot of people don't understand that, you know? Some people are like, what? I can't, I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, if I didn't have that time with my husband, I'd probably be like, we'd probably be so, like, um, we'd be really, like, separated and uh, divided. Because we wouldn't, you know, we, you know, I got to have that time with him. I don't care. I got to have it. You know, I mean, I know if it's something that we got to go to sleep for early, you know, we planning for something, we doing something, but I need that nighttime where I can just talk to him and say, you know, what's going on? Like, I need that little talking time and a little chill time. I do. Cause I don't want to have that little, that separation time. Where we feel like we just separate from each other. And we feel, you know, like I can't feel like that. Good night, Latoya. Get you some good rest. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. I'm going to sleep in. Three minutes. Oh, I'm not going to sleep in three minutes, but I'm going to get off this live in three minutes. I Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for keeping me company. And thank you for the love. Yes, yes, yes. As Messina, Messina be like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Three minutes, three minutes, y'all. So happy, though. It's just so, just so happy to be able to hang out. So people said, okay, I woke up, heard Joe singing. Wonderful, Miss Dana. Let me know how much you have done. Ooh, okay. I got four more rows to get done, Elaine. But I'm going to get off in three minutes, so you don't got to worry about it, okay? <laughs> you ain't got to be like, hold on, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get off in three minutes, y'all. But I got four more rows to finish. Or I might do a little bit more because, like I told y'all in the beginning, I used a clover hook, which runs a little bit smaller. And so I might add a few more rows because this kind of looks a little small than I usually make them. So um, I need to, so far I need at least four more rows and then I'm done. But like I said, I might do a total of six rows. But look how it looks. If you can see it, Elaine, look at that color. Look how it's fading. I, look, I think it's going to be so nice. I don't know if I'm going to wear my gray top under it or my navy blue. I'm going to probably put them, put them on both and see what happens. But I think it's going to be really nice. Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Two minutes, y'all, and we'll be done for the night. I appreciate y'all. I got to check my hours and see what they are. Last time I checked, I had 2,500. Oh, thank you so much, Tasha. Thank you. I'll never forget this. I'm telling you, I will never forget this night, how you came in and showed some love and hung out. I yeah, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes, I truly appreciate you. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm that person, though. You know, sometimes you're like, man, people forget where they come from. I'm that person that remembers. <laughs> I'm that person that remembers, like, oh, I remember. And some people, I 
tell people certain stories about like how, you know, we came up together or however, you know, and people are like, well, I don't even remember that. I have stories with people like I remember stuff, you know, so I'm going to remember that. Remember that time we stood? Yes, we got to stick together. That's what I'm talking about. I love that. I'm not, I'm that person that remembers that. I'm that person that's like, oh, okay, you know, we stick together. I'm not leaving nobody behind. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm that person. Cause I, I remember, I have fake people that's like that. Yes, I always say I remember exactly I'm the same way. Cause I'm that person that's been left behind. People that get certain, get with certain people, hang out with certain people, and then forget, forget about you. Like what? You know, which I'm not doing anything to get that notification and that recognition. But I just, I'm just saying, like, if you, you know, you hold people down for so long and show people love, you know, this is like, like the song by, uh, who's that one girl name? Everybody, everybody say, hey, what's her name again, man? Ja'Kalen Carr. Mm -hmm. If you show love to me and I show love to you, we will stand, stand. We will stand. It's the same thing, you know? If I pray for you. Man, I'm saying the wrong way. Because my voice is gone, but you know what I'm saying. Everybody, everybody say, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying, oh, wow, that's beautiful. I cannot believe, Miss Tina. You done that and oh, tonight, awesome. Oh, Miss Dan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. You said, yeah, the navy blue one. Okay. Thank you so much, Elaine. Oh, yes, me too. I became my own. Exactly, you got to become your own cheerleader. But y'all, it's been four hours and actually one minute. So I'm going to let y'all go because I know y'all been hanging out with me. Let y'all relax and go get y'all some rest. And if y'all hang, whatever y'all doing, you know, let y'all get a little time. I'm probably going to try to get a little small nibble in because I want to eat too late, even though it is late. But I need a little something on the tum-tum. <laughs> my husband made some chili, and so I'm going to go grab a little bite of that. And then I, I promise I cannot, I gotta get this done, y'all. So I gotta get a few more rolls of this done. And then after that, I'm gonna go ready for church. Oh, I enjoyed you too, y'all. I love y'all. I had an amazing time. Y'all make my night as always. I, I, I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. I love y'all. I thank y'all. Get y'all some good sleep. Good night, Charlie. Thank you for always being there and sweet. I'm gonna go enter your giveaway. Love you and I appreciate y'all. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Whoever's going live, I got live with ODPW tomorrow as well. Whoever else is going live, I'm going to be seeing y'all then. Checking out y'all videos. I love y'all. Tasha, I think I need to see your newest video too. But yes, I love y'all. Check y'all out later. Good night, y'all. Hugs, kisses, hugs, kisses. Good night, y'all. Love y'all. Be blessed.